Okay. Tu ni u redu narejeno, tu je na hitro narejeno in ma jaz se spomnim, ki so to stvar naredili na vse skupaj. Zelo, zelo nevarno. Tu, če se avto zaleti, vse tu bo odzadil, ker je avtomobila, tu tako leti naprej ko metek. Tu je tisto, ki največ ljudi pobije, brez da bi se ljudje spav zavedali. Navarno, ko so hudečo. No, avtoček, ta je vreden zlata, to je bil en zelo prijazen part. Tu je Volve sans Pierre, Volve, oh, these people were here many times too, I remember already. Oh, the guy is actually light hair. So, yeah, they, these are the people because they told me that uh, they're going to make things difficult for me to find uh, that kind of stuff. That is, the address exists, but it's difficult to find and so on. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did not want to do this for anybody, deliberately. <laughs> that is a little bit funny. Yeah, yeah, deliberately they fuck with the people with... Uh... They already had what I was told people driving around and uh, looking and uh, before they managed to come to their address, it's, uh, it's a confusion and... Uh, that kind of stuff. Michel de Smet Olbeke. Jackety Jack, what the fuck is this? Du manoir du un jour. Ambassade de Malaisie et Colacoui. <laughs> Alfredo, Alfredo, Alfredo told me. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else they have. And, uh, oh, I remember when he changed the flooring and stuff like that. The flooring is really good. This is really, really good. It's really good. Yeah. Um, the safety-wise, that's really dangerous. My God, if you crash with a car, chances are that you're dead. Because... Because it kills so many people, the bear, exactly the beds like this, exactly this kind of stuff, it flies, it just flies up front like a bullet. On a slightest crash, 
doesn't have to be a big crash. It turns into a projectile and it just flies and it just runs you over. It kills you. It even cuts people's heads. My uncle was killed with something like this, but he was driving a, a truck and he did not properly have tied stuff in the back. And so everything rolled in the cabin and it was finished in a split of the second. So this kind of stuff is so people don't even know. But okay. Volouve Saint Pierre. Where the fuck are you? This is the Volouve Saint Pierre, 1150. Yeah, because I remember the villas and stuff like that, I know. But otherwise, I would not. Yeah, but the chances are that this is here. He drove you around, you know, if you remember that stuff, he drove you around. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. These people are so much involved in it. These people are tremendously a lot involved in it. Okay. So right now what I'm doing is I am I am calibrating myself to see exactly where they are located in my head. You know. They will take me also on a daily basis for a walk to this park. They always go to the park. Um, they are located in this part of the town here. It's interesting. This here. So it's going to be something like this here. Uh, around Rue de Bois. Something like that. Um, here is going to be probably Avenue Louis or Rue de Bois. Something like that. You know, it's going to be somewhere here like this. This is where they are located at. So now the question here is, well, actually, I think I know already exactly where it. Oh, go on. I have a water boiling, and so, and I have to go, but. It's going to be something like this, actually. A little bit. Uh, they do have a daughter, too. I remember that. Oh, and we started a new adventure. Yeah, they, they are located, they are, they, are, they are just located here, somewhere. Avenue Montgolfier, something like that. So they challenged me because the address, you will not find one. And the thing is that I will find one. I will find the address. This is, this is probably the street where they are located at. This where I am heading at right now probably is going to end up as a result is going to have that I will point the their home. Uh, let me go back. There too.
All right, so let me see this stuff again here. Fucking strange it is. But I am at the right, uh, right location here. Let me go here. Oh, yeah, now I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit, eh? No, this is actually, it's going to be very difficult. It's not going to be easy stuff. And yeah, it's going to look like this. Oh, fuck. And this is just a zip code, I think. So, wow. So I literally have to find the home. Now I get it. I did not even understood because they didn't list any address, anything. So yeah, but I know, I know where this house is located. This house is located here. So I'm going to come back here. Um, I, I, I get it. I get it. I get a little more right now. Okay, cool. So what you see here that is marked in red, this is what this is. But still, the house must be here. Okay, let me let me now really pay attention to this stuff a little more. Okay, let me get out here and see this. They are exactly about five minutes, I would say, located from uh, from the park. Uh, we go in the evening for a walk. Um, very, 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 very close to the park. Very, very close to the park. So this is this is a Brussels, a Belgium, Belgic. This is a this is a very very good purchase. This purchase here. Um, I would take this one. This I would. This is nice, except that that really, 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 this stuff here would be much better off. It would be from the light plastic, uh, and uh, uh, really, it's got to be screwed to the to the uh, to the chassis really, really strongly so that it doesn't. Something like this doesn't happen. Husband did everything by himself. I should say daddy. Father, head of the family. They have to be located here. They got to be located actually closer than what I would. The maximum that I would give would be Rue de Bois. And so that I would go like this. And then I would do it like that, literally. And uh, then I'm going to go and look for this. Villa here, what exactly that looks like? Let me see that. Okay, so this is it. So, yeah, I do have to look a little closer so that we don't. Um, wait a minute, there is actually even some kind of number here, but no, that would not be decent. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I just need to remember, okay, this stuff here. So, based on my memory, let me see how much wrong am I with this, because it was so, so, so close to the park. Five minutes from the park. Something like this, I would say. Okay. So... Right now, he would reprimand me. He's already reprimanding me right now sitting with me in front of the computer, you know what he's saying. He is saying right now, it's not supposed to be like this, it's supposed to be according to the memory. And uh, it's true. And uh, he is saying uh, the opposite direction. Bob. What are you doing? I, did I fuck it up? I, I, you know, I'm thinking about something else that I, I might have have done something that uh, I should have done something that I have not done something. But I will do it this way because 
Uh, if that's not going to work, then I'm going to change my style. But right now, uh, they are located even. Uh, it's actually. Uh, they are located like. Um, from what I recall, like in the beginning of the street, like something like you, you won't, you won't, it, it, it's, it's like this. They told me it's like this all along, all along. Everything is like this, except that their house is like an exception with this, uh, the, the way you see it with this fence and stuff like that. Did you see it right there? It's like totally, totally exceptional. Uh, it's an exception. I know for this family was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, you know how long they were involved in this MK Ultra? I am thinking whose house this is. Yes. So, uh, from what I recall, this stuff, somebody moved into the house. And now I have to figure out. Was it a husband? Was it a wife? Or they moved into the house? Because stuff I'm talking about to you, and I am 52 years old, uh, goes back in the day when I was probably 16 years old. And I might have been exactly 15 years old. It goes to the year 1985, maybe. You know? And... As I visualize this, uh, I see a husband here and a father. And so this must have been the husband's house, this house. It must be a husband's house, this house. I don't think they move in there. Uh, or they purchased it. But it was the husband and his father that did something like this. But I'm thinking about, so this goes to 1985, and 1985, I was like 14 years old. Um, I was really, really young, and so it really goes to 1985. So I don't know what happened in 1985. Uh, they um, purchased this house, or was it that, uh, was this always their house? It not shortly after that, it was the wife that appeared. So the wife must have appeared at this place here um, in 1986, I would say. So I go to the age 13. I'm going to upgrade this stuff. 1984. Yes, 1984 is when they were in between this house. Yeah, this is how long. So this is one of the oldest families also involved in MK Ultra, one of the bosses, and I think it was his father. I uh, he actually the husband. I think he also has a brother. Uh, the husband is an engineer. He does have a degree. He does have a degree. I remember father. Uh, he does have a brother, I think. He's an engineer by profession. And um, um, the light skinned, blue eyes, uh, semi blonde. Okay. You know? And. Uh, His brother, I think, is not, is dark-haired, I think, if he has a brother. Uh, probably blue eye too, but dark-haired. Black hair. Um, he is uh, quite tall and slender. And so, uh, he did, yeah. Well, he was uh, 
taller than father and slender obviously than father uh, i would say he is about one meter and 85 maybe one even 188 tall something like that and uh if he's got a brother with a dark hair if he does have one he is even taller i would say and also slender um he did gain kilos over the course of years this man here i uh, yeah this gotta be his house because it was also his daddy that he lived here his father his father i think also had another residence now i am a little bit panicking here that's a trouble that's a real fucking problem uh, meaning that maybe at the older age that he came something like that but i am thinking about his father and i am pretty sure that his father had another residence so there is a good chance that they purchased for him this house here in 1983 yeah that's a long time ago 1984 so this is definitely a good good one i like that i really like that um his brother is all there i think was not a, such a nice guy. I preferred this guy over his more there. Uh, and the wife, his wife is also blondie from this guy here. Uh, let me see what else I can tell you about this here. Because this is the first hand car. This is not from the dealer, this is not from the second owner or anything like this. This is from the first owner. Oh, I think I made a mistake in the in this row here. I should turn it here. Let me see. And then there is a very, very small uh, place here. And this should be exactly what you have seen. Uh, the house that I demonstrated you and uh, the house that is right next to the one and that's it and hopefully we are gonna say au revoir let me see hey, show me this no this was entirely involved in MK Ultra, the streets here that you see. I don't know what's going on with these French people. Do they still think they are under occupation or something like this? Or they are preparing for the occupation? I don't know. Uh, they, um, this is very, 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 very area where this house is located. It's got to be here because I can already smell this house here somewhere. It already smells like this house. But in front of the computer, they would not, they didn't show me one in front of the computer, but I can smell one that's here. I can I can smell it that is just steps away from me, from where I was. In the street that I was browsing, uh, they claimed me this is the way it is, but it's on the side street. So they suggested this, but is it really? Well, we're gonna see that. They're gonna see that. Bob will see. Bob, find you. This is definitely, it smells, it totally smells like this house. I can smell it already. Totalement. Uh, they were walking me here back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I know that this is, this is definitely it. Uh, they would not walk me just just like this. Yeah, they they actually were scared about this issue. 
Uh, and then uh, they would uh, meet people and they would increase this circle. They actually are very, very confident. There's a lot of confidence, but I think they were rabbits actually. They, they were afraid. They were the. For them, it was like a comedia. It was like a funny way. Um, it was like uh, uh, this here, where I'm at right now, is like strangely, strangely, strangely. It was not the only house that I stayed, but this is where this street here, this here, this is like fucking strangely makes me feel even that I was coming from this house is here but that doesn't resolve my issue stuff i'm working on it it does not resolve my issue so this is this is like exactly where these people are located so why this here this street here always when it started when you go uh, this here this house this here this street here this is where I would say the Illuminati walked me out of here, these homes, but they did. They did. They did. These were the houses. This street was more involved than any other street. This street right here. And uh, toward the Brook Hills, where they would walk me, we would always go through here right through here this here and straight right through here so i know that that it must be like <sighs> okay just remember this street here this that i bump into it this is where they were based first more than anywhere else it was here for a very very long time this here this they would station me in these houses. Um, there were like two, three houses. They would exchange me here. Uh, neighbors were not very trustful toward this stuff. I can tell you this. But once they smelled the money, once they smelled the money, uh, they were becoming friends with these people. Once they smelled the money, how others they were making money they became motivated in it but at first uh, they were not too much friendly with it but once they smelled the money uh everybody went crazy everybody went crazy once they smelled the money these people here and uh, people here uh, th this here, yes, very, very, very much involved, and also these people here, very, very much involved. Uh, they were like major promoters of this stuff, and um, others in the area were not so trustful about what went on. Um, they didn't even like me. Uh, this month is going to be troubles, uh, and. They joined because they smelled the money. They saw that the money was, and that was it. Uh, this couple, the, the house I'm looking for, however, is about five minutes away from here. I'm making a round around here, and I'm going to go. Still, I should continue on that road right there. Uh, I will not do this, this opportunity. I will go and see this street here. Uh, this is, this is, um, this is, um, that's not going to work. I'm going to go back to the street of where I was.
No, they're not located there. This is uh, where they would take me to the park. That means that these people are extremely, extremely close. They are very, very close here. Uh, they are very, very close. Very, very close. I am thinking about where the fuck would they be. They are actually closer to the street where I was at than what I even anticipated. They are closer to it. Yeah. I don't know, but to me, it smells like this here, one of these houses here, except that there's a problem here with this, because, oh, this is again problem, man. This you have to go again and and, and, uh, and break your brain to, to learn and see what's going on. Okay, so... That is the road to the park where they would take me. Um, <clears throat> like on a daily basis they go it's like on a daily basis but <clears throat> I think I'm too far off right now So this was this was definitely definitely uh, the area that uh, uh, here most likely not because it would be here they would not um, to go through here well I shouldn't underestimate that stuff either shouldn't do that. If it is, it's got to be. The streets where I demonstrated you right there on both sides of that are the ones that were the most involved. I, again, I did not plan on this stuff. I did not plan on any of this stuff here. Uh, this way toward the park. I did not plan on any of this stuff. Um, I did not plan on any of these issues right now. This was not in the plan to video really record this stuff, but since all right, man, since it, it it's like this, then we're gonna do it. They claim me that is a street like this one here. Uh, however, that there is just a little part of it that is uh, that doesn't have fences and stuff like this, but a little part of it that it is like that. It doesn't look like this. It doesn't look that this will be a reality. Reality is more what I demonstrated you, and uh, so you know. Uh, to me, when it comes to reality, uh, the closest that I would come to reality to me would be that they are very, very close to, very, very close to, uh, as for this couple, yes, as for this, for this couple, uh, what is the name, is Botstrat, whatever. Uh, let's do it uh, like this and uh, let me zoom out so that I see this because I'm going to do something else. I will go back into this here and I'm going to go back and back and back and I will just go to this avenue Mont -Golf Golfier and the thing about it is that they are very very close to what is this here. This is Avenue Edmond Parmentier. And so I had a feeling during MK Ultra that they were located at like beginning of uh, either Avenue Mont Golfier or at the beginning of the Avenue du Polo. Very, very close. Yeah, I mean, like 100 meters, like something like this from uh, Avenue Edmond Parmentier 
uh, on one of the streets parallel to, let's say, Avenue Montgolfier or Avenue du Polo. So I think it's Avenue du Polo, like this here. I think this is it. It's got to be here. I want to go and uh, see this. Um, what the fuck is the Louis just me on now and this and that? No, 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 no. I don't like that idea. Let's let's go. Uh, uh, like he says here, Doctor Claude Lenoy. Aha. Okay, Louis Jasmine is this one here. Ah oh, ha ha. Hold on. Ah oh, ha ha. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, the thing about it is that uh, during MK Ultra, it's MK Ultra. I mean, you're not, you're, you're drugged up. So uh, let's uh, let's try a little bit also on this side of the road to see a little bit what's going on here with this. Because MK Ultra is MK Ultra. Drugged up is what means to be drugged up is drugged up. So is not just uh, uh i i think i think so i think that at any 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 second now yeah this actually got me by the surprise let me see this here So I think that that uh, I must be very very somewhere very 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 near all these people were involved in it this too all this this here totally they would have me sleep sometimes here sometimes there uh I don't know exactly which one of these houses but the yes in this quiet street here also in this smaller house street also, people had me inside the homes, but nowhere more than in the street that I demonstrated you. Uh, why would they do this stuff like this? Uh, they claimed that they have faced enormous backlash, that I was a racist, that I created the problems. Uh, and so that a society attacked them and they wanted to distribute the problem also to others. And so they would start to house me here. What went on in reality is a Holocaust. It was a Holocaust. It was, it was a, in Mount Everest of torture that went on. That's what the fuck went on. Not in the streets, but in Brussels, on what Brussels would deliver me to these houses here which are also funny about it and very, very politically correct. They exercise political correctness towards somebody whom they have tortured heavily, their government tortured heavily. Even here in these houses, they faced a lot of discrimination. And that's why they started to hand me over to one another like a hot potato, claiming me uh, that I created a problem again here and created a problem again there uh, involving people from Africa, involving people from, I don't know, Middle East, involving people from all over the place for as long as they could use them to shed the tears of injustice. They knew very well what the fuck we're doing was the most criminal thing you can do to somebody. For the stuff like this, you go for 30 years in the jail. You don't see the sunlight. Maybe even ever again. And so the minorities, the people, the new immigrants who depended uh,
On est government handouts, jobs. They had to participate in the claim of discrimination against somebody they tortured as jerked up person, hijacked. So that the person would not even complain because he was the one who discriminated others, even that they dragged up, but it did not matter. This is the reality of the Brussels. I did not know about this kind of politic about the Brussels. This is very good because it helps me see other issues that went on in, in Belgique. Because no, 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 my, no. Uh, the kings and queens from uh, Belgique, they love me so much. They would never do stuff like this. No, not at all. No, no, no. Uh, they fuck me up pretty badly. And uh, the worst part about it, they make you feel special. So that you don't even feel when they fuck you up. So. It's all love. It's all good. And uh, if you survive, it's all good. Polo, polo. It's got to be something with the polo. Oh, guala. Polo. Uh, pertaining to this couple, it's got to be something to do with the polo, which I don't find it, man. And um, what exactly that means? That means, I don't know. I don't want to condemn these people. They were nice people. They were not bad people. They, these people did not. Uh, okay, me, 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 brother maybe did uh, not a very nice stuff. Uh, brother worked in the city. Um, I am thinking about what the brother had. Uh, no, not really, not très, très sure about it. I remember when he attended the university, it's uh, très possible that the owner of this car, this house, is très, très possible uh, that he is, uh, I'm thinking about maybe even architect or something like that. He's got some kind of engineering background, university. He finished the university. And I can't figure out exactly would it be a technical background or would have been uh, architecture. I don't, I don't know. Uh, not to what would apply to his brother. His brother, I think, not look, not really, not totally sure because there was a lot of people involved in it. His brother, her. His brother was either is yeah it's actually either he is a university degree economist a, something like this uh, works for very very possibly government a, and or yeah, there was another guy but this was not it uh, but it was. It was a lot of stuff that was happening around him. And he had like some kind of... Uh, it was not the same guy. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, his brother also has a degree, university degree. He also has university degree. They were connected with the British Royals. Father was. And uh, so, naturalement, the money came. It was a money, money. They do have two houses for sure. Uh, I think uh, this uh, house was renovated or something like that because this must be the house from the father. As to the brother, he bought his house. 
que si, que si. I think. Comme si, comme ça. Like uh, Belmondo would say, 50-50. Uh, ah, fuck it. I love Belmondo. Uh, Belmondo was uh, somebody I uh, I liked uh, as a character, as a movie ca character, since I was since I was a child. But the during MKI, no, I had a war with Be with Belmondo. Do you know the French actor Belmondo? I had a big fucking war with Belmondo. Uh, I understand I have uh, mistreated uh, Monsieur Belmondo. I was not nice to Belmondo. Uh, or whatever. Uh, it goes to explain that the stuff that was done was so unethical that it couldn't be more criminal than what it was. Bruxelles said this is where the European Parliament is. It's not the Strasbourg. The Strasbourg is another apple. We have to go to Strasbourg to see what is going on in the Strasbourg. Now, these people uh, are just a minute away from the park. So what the fuck I need to do is... Uh, there, obviously, because of so many housings, is involved in it, but I have to say I am disappointed, and maybe I deserve it. Maybe they wanted me to stimulate me a little bit. Maybe they uh, came to conclusion that it must not be very easy for me or whatever. But uh, it says Rue de Fabri. Exactly, is not. Rue de uh, Fourie, Tyson Fourie. So let's go and see the Fabri. Here, somewhere they have to be. Somewhere exactly, just, just, just almost attached to the fucking park. And uh, let me see. Uh, where are you? Uh, they came up with a lot of stories, and they play with the map too, with the Google Maps. Not, not, not very honest. They would not, they would not show. Probably because it was an easy thing, because it's probably an easy thing. But, but why would you do this to somebody like myself? I am thinking about why would you do this? I mean, I liked your daughter, and so I'm not going to get married with your daughter. Your daughter is already married, so why the fuck would you do that to me? Oh, such a naughty stuff. Let's see this a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah, they must be. They were very close located. Man, these people are sneaky. They were not. They were not. Uh, yeah, the stuff that, that that like this, the way you see it on the picture. Fuck it, they, they did not show me that. You know, it's not very nice like this to to do that to Bob, to to do that stuff like this to the Bob. They must be right on the brink of the park. They have gotta be right on the fucking brink of the park. Let me see the stuff again here. Let's see this here. Uh, we will go here and we will look at this. They gotta be, I'm telling you, right, where it says plus de la, the, the two things that come to my mind is plus de la gare, uh, right here, this corner here. Let me go out a little bit. I mean, they can do a lot of stuff to me, but there is one thing they couldn't. To me, the most often when I had it with these people, and it shows that this is not a good practice. It was either from here, from this location, uh, not from this location, uh, yeah, something like this location. I'm going to go and do this, and the location that I demonstrated you around the polo. 
in the other street, which I did not go to investigate fully because this one here occupied my mind. Um, they were using me in a such a way that they would come to pick me up. And so that made things fucking impossible. You know, they would station me in another house, then they would come uh, repeatedly to pick me up, and I would go with them in the car, in the park in the evening and so on. And so that fucked me up. Uh, I have to say that it was very difficult to, uh, like this, to just, you know, with the same people from a different homes. Homes. Poco di più difficile. Let's see this here. Let's see this here. Huh, holy shit, no. Man. Don't think even for a second uh, that uh, I was not in here. Um, this is some kind of special place. Uh, this place here, I was here uh, literally, I believe, when they built this place. This place here, in many ways, that they built, uh, made improvements, the garage and this kind of stuff. <sighs> this goes, I think, all the way to 2000, something like that. This is not so new. This is not so new, because I remember... Uh, This stuff is not so new. This is a, a trouble. Uh, uh, there was this lady that was involved from here. I, I will tell you what, man. Uh, she did have a mom with her, a single lady, uh, was exactly. Uh, I think in uh, yeah, either in this apartment here or uh, this apartment. Uh, I think she was in uh, in either this apartment here that you see green, uh, or in this apartment here next door. Uh, she had also mom. These apartments are older apartments. She was in these apartments here. They would deliver me here already in 80s. These are old apartments, but it's this stuff here, this garage stuff here that they fixed. The garages and stuff like this, this kind of stuff, this. Uh, this is the stuff they fixed sometime in 2000. They were doing improvement with this stuff here. So they clean it up. They really, really clean it up. They clean the fucking place and they started to work with this stuff here. On this uh, on this thing, and it it makes me feel like it's brand new. I think that in 2000 that they they uh, it was like uh, a new place when it was actually not. They added these features, this garage. Don't think that here I just go walk the fucking streets, and within two hours I have. I can go from one place to another and do MK Ultra basically over the course of years. Don't even think for a second that you can get away with this. That you can hide anything from me here because you cannot. It was done in a such a way in the name of help. Uh, and uh,
don't even think for a second that I don't know where I am. And uh, it, it, based on my memory, I am already too far here. Let me go back here. No, they were closer to it. Or they were coming to pick me up closer to it. Um, a little bit, uh, when I start to think about this stuff, uh, a little bit naughty. Just a little bit naughty here. Yes, it's uh, a little bit naughty, really. Uh -huh, so this is a street, another street here. So we have another street. The street ends. I am doing some cooking. And uh, I did go. Uh, these people are not so fair. Because... Uh, where the fuck am I now? Not so fair because uh, for me personally, where these people are located at is a very, very simple thing. My brain already now processed uh, all the information. Um, yes, I know where the fuck I am. No, 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 let's go back. Let's not go so quickly. This here, this street here, you know how I feel about this street here. I feel about this is the newest part of the town here. What you see here. I remember people that were fighting over these apartments. Um, you're going after about a year, like 2000. This year. Uh, between... Uh, I would say here, I estimate between 1998 and uh, 2005, something like this. Um, actually, fuck that. Not quite like this. We, we cannot just uh, go. Uh, like you say in Slovenian language, we, we cannot do that stuff. I have to be a little bit more precise about this stuff. This, this apartments here pop up to me on the picture. This popped up sometimes like in started like in 1998, I estimate 98, 97, and uh, these are the structures that I believe. Uh, well, when I think about Mr. Golovich. This goes to 1994. It goes to 1994. Um, when I think about Mr. Golovich, Kuchan, how angry I was, how betrayed I felt, uh, then uh, this would be exactly the newest part of the probably of this town. This 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 portion of the city, this building here that you see here, it probably came to life. It was not done everything at once, I think. This here is the older part here. Let me see this here. Toward this way, I think it's older. There should be And this here, this was newer, I think, what you see here. So, this here, this, what I think it is, it's older part. <sighs> uh, 
right here toward the end. And it's kind of stupid because I'm not using, uh, I don't even see the street from the other side and I want to give the estimate. Uh, No, 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 no. There you go. Um, ho, ho, that's a trouble. Oh, shit, they... Still would not allow me to. Uh, I might have chosen. Let me see that here. All right. Pick. That's the one right there. Shit. I don't understand anyway because we were here. This is the one. And. Um, I am trying to get here to this here so that this here is where it's going to be uh, that I need to see here. Now it threw me uh, on that side. It doesn't allow me to go behind the corner. Okay. All right, I see, I see. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this baby here. And we're going to go. And uh, we will see this here. I, uh, would very much love to see what this this here is. This uh, what they are suggesting is that thing right there. Yes, I see that. I see. Okay. This is where everything played out when it comes to Brussels, this area here. This is this was like the first location, like the main stuff that's that was started to play out. The first when it all started to play out for me, I think probably in Brussels. Now we did a little Milan cushion on nineteen eighty eight. Am I even going to have a chance to see this here? This is what I would kill for. You know why? Because there was a building here one time. Fuck. And I am not going to be able to see it. Uh, why something is saying to me there was like a church here. Um, where it says, yeah, the Jew. <laughs>
uh, I almost uh, uh, food almost went to hell. In 1988, and it's, that's why I'm not going to make no statement, but they assisted Milan Kuchan, I think, here, big time. And uh, that's precisely the reason why I'm not going to make any statement, because it was Kuchan. And during MKOJ, it's extremely, extremely easy to switch the location with another location especially when the location looks somewhat similar. Uh, it was used all the time during MK Ultra to fall on the, on, the, on the issues. So, no, I don't think so. These gardens, this stuff here, these are old gardens. I remember this stuff, that these are old gardens. So I am actually even taking away statement in respect to what I earlier suggested there are, that these are new buildings. They were using another location to confuse me. And it really works because you don't get to see behind the corner, you know. You don't get to see what is behind the corner. You don't get to see it. And so when I think about that other location, uh, it was just like you see it here, and then it was like a church, you know, behind a corner, which not really like a church, like like a like a building, like a good-looking building. And I'm not sure what they have done with it, or villa, or something like that, whatever they were they had inside in there. And so this is a really, really trouble. I'm not going to get myself into. Now, what I will get myself into is this here. And it's something also I'm not going to get myself into because it always was like this. This is where I was with some girl studying. She was studying something. But based on MK Ultra, they were switching locations. Location very similar to this one. Indicated luxurious departments, uh, apartments. Now, there is much more to this building here. 
this building supposedly have undergone some construction uh, actually part of it's supposed to be some kind of school and part of it's supposed to be apartments or something like that and that type of transition I have no clue. That's supposed to take place in 98 or something like this. I don't know. Something I have to think over. Some girl, I remember that she went here to study. So she studied something in, in, in here. In the... They had me inside of this building all over. And so it really is confusing. The part of it they claim is a school, this part here. There's apartment buildings here that you see. You know, probably were built sometimes in 90s. Let me demonstrate you. This stuff here is where preliminary British royals stayed inside in here in this complex. This is a super luxury place. This is a Luxor, a très très luxurious, this place here, from what I recall. This place here is the place where the British Royals would stay. And the British Royals commuted themselves to this place from here, from here, and there might be some area here they also occupied during their stay in the building, and they did so because it was ample, because it had amenities inside, uh, it was ample, you could walk, garages, privacy, uh, absolutely all the convenience, everything that one could wish. Uh, beginning the 19, 19, but I think probably 19, I don't know. I imagine at least, I would imagine at least, I would imagine this would go to the time 1980 or something like that. It was like a, a bunker, like a secret location where British royals would seat themselves during their stay, preferably in Brussels, exactly for the reasons that I stated you. The next one who inherited this location to whom British royals left this place was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, Slovenian police, with a Milan Kuchan as a head of the state, um, Borut Pahor, the so-called leftists and the so-called communists. 
inherited this vocation from Slovenia, inherited this vocation in the Brussels. He became Fort Knox for the Slovenian communists, the so-called communists. They, they are not really communists. This is this is this is a this is an ethnic cleanser under disguise of the communist. Ethnic cleanser per Belgrade or per Russia under disguise of the communism. So because why? Because they feared probably communists, the Chinese the most is what they feared. So this Chetniks, to properly express myself, Chetniks, pro Serbian Chetniks from Slovenia, uh, this is what this have turned into. Yeah? This is the way this stuff was. Because they have uh, more bigger, ample, uh, luxurious uh, stuff inside that they had inside. What else the fuck they had inside when I think about it? This location had like uh, really like classrooms and uh, all kinds of stuff. Now uh, I see here in the back. I see I see the tennis court. It's a tennis. What is this here? Is it a tennis court or what is this here? Or you see a Royal Umbridge Hockey Club. Um, yes. In this in this place here that I demonstrated you, they also had inside like uh, like for the gym and stuff like that. This was like a place that was ample that people would also come here and they would do the sports activity. You're talking about the Gregor Golovich. You're talking about uh, the communists, the so-called communists. Yeah, they really really look sure to themselves the luxus. Luxus life in Brussels, uh, Europäische Union, uh, oh nine, uh, and they get to torture me. I was tortured in private houses, driven insane, and get to watch them how they treated themselves in this Fort Knox here. Uh, oh, you see, you see, this is not. Das Europa. This is a Das Europa. Europäische Union. The Union of the Europe. Cantare me song about the European Union. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, well, and there is something more to it. I'm thinking about this here because I'm thinking about about this portion of the building here. No. Was this here? Was it like added? When was it added? This is the thing, I don't remember this stuff was added. And to make things even better. They delivered me into another building that has something to do also with the postal office and another building that, that has something to do with university that from within somewhat reminded of this location here. They have inside, and I think it's on the bottom floor, on the bottom of this building. I think it was like a like a gym room inside. I think they had a gym room on the bottom of it, on the bottom of this building that is a gym, like a recreation room inside. Yeah, that I got to watch. Milan Kuchan is apprentices to the looks themselves during a torture sessions whenever I was brought here. I was not allowed to stay here. They just wanted me to see the luxus they were in. And for me, it was the Brussels beating.
1988 Milan Kuchan, 1990, you know. Uh, they were sure inside of the European Union they would turn Milan Kuchan pro-European, pro-NATO if they treat them like this, but it didn't come. It did not come out this way. No matter what they do, no matter what they did for them, I think uh, not that I think definitely did not work. Kuchan wanted uh, Yugoslavia and USSR. So Not really, not really. I cannot, I cannot come up. These are apartment units, but on the bottom they should have, or whatever, they also should have a gym inside. Unless they deliver me to another building and do that kind of stuff. Definitely a postal office uh, building, whatever building they have at the, in the Brussels, because it must have been in the same area. That's why I'm saying. And the university should have the interior. Let me see where the what a Brussels postal office looks like. They're very, very involved in it. Ah, Siege Central. Let us see what the fuck this looks like. I don't know, for that matter, let's go a little bit more. Uh, this is definitely not going to be it. Well, this could already be it. This is already more interesting. Let's see this. Oh, right behind the, here. The, the, this is all new. Look, forget about this shit here. Me not in, me not interested in this. Me interested in this. Let's see this. The interior. I know that uh, I am doing something right because this is the building they were afraid of the most during MK Ultra. This is the building where I was delivered more than any other building in the Brussels. Uh, more than any other building in the Brussels. More than any other building in the Brussels. And it uh, somewhat reminds me even of the building where I applied for the political asylum. <laughs> Strange. It is a very, very high possibility that I did not pay attention to, and I definitely would not. 
I definitely would not. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's completely crazy. I would definitely not pay attention to uh, I would definitely during MK Ultra, are you fucking kidding me, man? Uh, no way would I go and pay attention to uh, to people involved in MK Ultra during asylum procedure? No. No fucking way I would do this. Yes. If you anticipate that I'm going to file for political asylum already back then, then you're complacent in this stuff. That's bad. Then, uh, probably the worst place, worst decisions that I have made were basically decisions that you came to your countries to file for political asylum. No, this is not the same building, but it uh, really does look very much the same, but it's not the same. It's not the same building. Worse than a Soviet Union? Yeah. I think... I think that you're dead. That's why me and Kuchan feel good about all this stuff. They didn't... They figure out that the Soviet system is in the place. They have little to worry about. The postal office, according to my memory, is located here, in this site. In this area here that you see, where it all starts the building. Uh, this is where you would go, they told me you go to pick up, I don't know what. This is where they would deliver me. This, this part of it. That's why somewhat also it reminded me of this stuff here, of these things here, but this was more related to the university uh, that looked like this. And this is what they were doing. They were switching between this location and that location. Did everything possible to camouflage this stuff. I am still thinking if there's like anything for me here, it's like anything to do here for me. The problem is that they cosmetically change a lot of buildings. But it might not necessarily be it might not necessarily have been this one. And it would have changed. The only thing that would change is this portal of the building that you see right there. But when I think about it, 
which has totally changed the look of the building. The thing, however, is that I don't think they changed one. This always looked luxurious. It always looked uh, better. than other buildings in the area. This always was like this. I don't remember they would change this stuff here. I don't remember any of it, that they would change any of it. This had to look more exclusive. This had to look more exclusive. So yes, they had a fitness inside of this. Um, I'm trying to find, perhaps, at least if I can find something that I can use, that I can suggest that it was built at certain years so that I get some kind of, you know, indisputable stuff that, uh, that, you know, that I end dilemma about the stuff I do. Because this is always how I do it. I always find something that uh, separates me from anyone that would... Uh, try to even dare me so restroom time if I'm gonna post this this is gonna be used like in my backup video and I most likely will go and do another video and go over like really really quickly um, that's basically how I deal with this kind of issues I am not gonna be pushing down throughout anyone um, this video. This is just going to be used like a backup video. So that basically you get to see how this stuff works. I don't have any kind of implants in my head. I don't have any kind of... Uh, um, you know what this is? This is... What is this here? Hold on a moment. The fuck? This is a rugby. A Royal Hockey? Hockey. Hockey club? Really? Hi, shit. Uh, whatever sport there is, either rugby or hockey or uh, whatever it is, whatever the fuck it is, those guys are quite rough. They had a gym here below. I remember they had a lockers and gym and stuff like this. Which one of these buildings? Uh, in the lower floor, probably this one here. So they would, they would go and change themselves inside and stuff like this. Right on the bottom of this building should be this of this building here it should be right here in the bottom of it and uh, then they will do the stuff here and uh, who the hell knows maybe this was a rugby place or what this was a soccer field if needed whatever um, but um, and maybe it's now a hockey club. Who the hell knows? Uh, that's a chance. But um, this here, this here, this is this place here. This. Let me see if I can see this here. This is the oldest one that brings the memory. This was the fuck hole, this place here. This is the worst place. Uh, Milan Kuchan, Robert Golob, Golobic. They didn't stay there. They, they were not staying, the, the so-called communists from Slovenia. They were staying here in these buildings, here in the rear. They were okay. They were well-situated. They, this, 
like had it in the numbers to Brussels way before Slovenia became independent. Woodba agents basically espionage. Uh, they don't allow for me this to see it. This is one of the most disgusting places that I have experienced in my lifetime. Literally like a psychiatric, worse than a psychiatric hospital in Blau Napoli. This is where you had a terror, beatings, torture, probably when I was 10 years old, that went on here. And it, it rings Milan Kuchan, it rings Robert Golob, it rings uh, Golobic, uh, der Junge aus der so-called Kommunisten aus der Slovenia. Europa willkommen. This is what the fuck this was. This is basically before they launched war on Europe. Because war against Slovenia it was. It was a war against Croatia. Slovenia became independent without much trouble even there was a 14-day war and it was bad because it was separated from the serbia by croatia and by bosnia they have to take the heat so if you want to go see srebrenica or vukovar to understand what slovenia was spared of eventually what milan kuchan wanted to turn slovenia into then you you get to understand why it didn't happen that way. And I should say what European Union officials supported all along. I'm 52. I will never forgive this to the Brussels. I will never forgive this to Merkel or British Royals or von der Leyen or any structure within the European Union. The least I will ever forget this is to the European Royals. Never I will forgive you this. No, this is not a treason. This is a good evidence that you do not consider, nor me, nor other people, but especially not me. You do not consider me as a human being. I will never forgive you for this stuff. This, this place here, this was a violence. This here, total fucking violence. And they were not allowed to come here. This was not like this that you see here. It was not so sophisticated, but it was quite sophisticated. And so then I got to see them that they were already playing soccer and stuff like this here, this place here. Um, but this place here, this was reserved probably for the rugby. I think they had a rugby. I don't think they had a hockey. Do they have a rugby in Belgium? Do the Belgians play rugby also? Are they any good? I mean, this is what I'm trying to say. They had some this here, but... Yeah, really, how good are they? This was no fucking uh, rock. Uh, this was no fucking uh, skating. I mean, uh, what I mean is, uh, what is this? The, the, the hockey? No, 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 no. This was, this was like a rugby place. I think that this place changed into a hockey, right? This is totally different, if you understand, for you, that it looks like they are good at, 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 at rugby. Um, this is this year. This is this year, uh, and hockey, it's totally different, you know. So the hockey, 
Uh, no, not hockey. This is like this, this kind of stuff. Yeah, well, shit, they were dressed somewhat like this. They were dressed somewhat like this, you know? They they really were dressed, they were dressed like this. Fuck. So, I don't think I'm going to make a revolution or a new revelation. Uh, I think, frankly, I think that, uh, I don't know, because I never played... Uh, uh, the rugby I played very sh briefly in Slovenia. Uh, a sport, a wonderful sport that gave you ability to get back uh, at whoever. On a sports field, did not last very long. They cut one short very soon. It turned out to be bloody sport in Slovenia. Um, I did not regret one though. As much as I thought I would. Uh, yeah, they had this habit to throw yourself on you and stuff like this. 20, 30 guys. Yeah, I know. But still... Um, listen, I didn't care about... If other kids, I don't really know the rules about this, you know, they were throwing this stuff and this is more about other issues than a ball, I think, <laughs> in Slovenia. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it, it, it was about other issues, I think. You see, the thing is that these guys look very, very similar, but if they ever did make a transition between a rugby and... um I never played either the hockey and rugby. I never, I definitely never played hockey. I never did this. And that would be probably fatal if I would. <laughs> if we did play hockey in the school, in the grammar school, that would definitely be fatal. Um, but if they did make a transition, let's Say, let us just suppose that they did make a transition. I would say they made a transition in 2000, like 98 or 2000. So I don't know what happened in 98 or 2000, but something happened here in 98 or 2000 here in this, with this, um, uh, with this place here. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Actually, this place, I'm trying to think this stuff. Shit, I, I don't. Uh, me, personally, I didn't want to be anywhere because of what started next door with the beatings, with the torture. Um, I'm actually wondering if Robert Golov is maybe a son from Milan Kuchan. I don't understand why the fuck they, these thugs, why they... Uh, shit, they took them everywhere. They took them everywhere. They took them absolutely everywhere. It was like... I, they stated that uh, Tanya Fayon is a daughter from Milan Kuchan. I don't know about any of that stuff, but, you know, they took them everywhere. They took them everywhere. Um, let me think if I can come up with something here that can be useful to me uh, for other stuff here. Very difficult, very, very difficult for me to, um, <clears throat> actually, I wish I could see at least this here, because, um, very, very difficult, uh, they, they, they did, they did, they did to me, Incredible stuff, really. It's it's very very difficult, extremely extremely difficult for me to uh, make statements, especially in respect to this building, because there was a building like this, 
uh, that was that felt like a garage. Now they also have me inside of the garages, what you see right there. So here I'm talking about the psychiatrist Peter Kapuja. We're trying to camouflage as much as possible what went on over the course of years and so on. These are these are apartment buildings. These are apartment buildings, luxurious apartment buildings. And there was a garage also they would be using. Talking about the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, it it finally became evident to me that they were trying to confuse me on a lot of issues. They were using dirty stuff, truly, truly dirty stuff. And uh, the garage was like this, you know. Uh, it 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 had a curve like this and. Uh, I remember because they were convincing me and asking me cross cross asking me questions and creating a scenario that would rather make me believe that this is a garage inside and stuff like that. So um, not a good stuff. There, these are apartment buildings. The real property options that you see this real estate company. They would not even allow this stuff. They would not allow any kind of companies inside in there. This is, according to these realtors from this company, the only place here that actually is a company. And even this place here I had to have special permission from the residents, something like this, so they could they could function as an office. You understand me, what the fuck I'm saying? Thanks to these people, I know that they did not allow um, you know, they do not allow, they don't allow any kind of companies here. They don't allow any kind of stuff like this. So these are, these are basically apartment buildings. Now I'm trying to figure out something else and <clears throat> there might be actually the piece of something that I can come up with that would suggest to me that, <clears throat> that I could use as an, as a somewhat, as a, as an advanced knowledge, but you know, honestly, I'm not, I'm not really sure that this, this is going to be. It, it doesn't allow me to go see this stuff here. It's it's trouble. You know, corporate office. Let me see that stuff here. Uh, it's going to be a difficult one. You know what this is? It's probably even a management for these buildings here, located here at Real Property Options. These are Belgian people, some ladies running this place, I remember. Um, blonde, something like that. This is a habit for the for the realtors. Uh, this is something like consider this normal. They don't have any pictures, no. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do this and look if I can maybe get some pictures of it. <clears throat> that doesn't do shit for me. <clears throat> that does very little for me. With the churches, I don't like to play because it's a, it's a separate issue. Uh, every church, I think, in, in, in Brussels was involved stuff here this one looks like he wanted to be like seen eh? maybe I'm taking this the wrong way I don't know there was people that would do the stuff like this so that I would see them and uh, not everybody was the same, and so it was all kinds of stuff. Now, he definitely looks crazy, at least a little bit. He was involved in it. I already remember him. He was involved in it. <laughs> Let me see this here. Who the fuck was not in Brussels, right? Walu, St. Pierre, Town Hall. Uh, let me just get that other picture instead.
is this this here? I would not get into this stuff here about me, category, category, about me, category. I wish I could at least see that. It is a unique architecture. They did demonstrate any of this stuff. Yeah, so these realtors were really, really involved a lot into this stuff here. Mauritius Belkins, the Belgian Mauritius, about us contact. You know, somehow that I, I uh, about me, oi oi, is this really Mauritius? With my wife Minella, we have lived 18, in 18 countries, wow. We created this website to provide fellow expats very, very, very nice family. I remember this people. Very, very nice family. They were involved in it. This is very, very nice family. This was from him again, uh, with so many people involved in this stuff. Um, he became a manager, I believe. Is um, where I currently in this post I will examine the Brussels commune of Olivain. You see in France, menu, 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 menu. Now let's see this here. It sounds like he lived in a lot of regions. Yeah, it sounds like he's new here. <laughs> I'm not going to say that he's not, but uh, he was here in this place already before. You know when he was here involving this stuff? So this is interesting. Relatively late, like 2010, like beginning 2010. Uh, uh, they definitely, definitely, definitely didn't want me to penetrate into this issue here, but they definitely knew that I would penetrate in one some way, somehow. I don't know what the hell they saying here. I think I'm sure I'm this one. He is already for 30 years living as an expat in different countries, including Australia, Belgium, Bulgaria, Burkina Faso, Canada, India, Malaysia, Morocco, Poland. Uh, just a moment. Uh, a founder and expert. I'm originally from Netherlands, but I have spent 30 years in different countries. Okay. So this is some kind of digital guy. I remember his father, who was also involved in this stuff. And this boy did complete the university. He was inside of this house. In my opinion, this boy completed the university sometimes in 2009, between 2006 and 2009, you know. And um, the problem is that the one who ran this world was a psychiatrist, Peter Kopp, even in respect to him. This is, this is where the problem is. And so little I can do now to correct the lies that I was instilled in. Um, 
he visited here in 2014 and so on. Uh, let's say. Well, I, I, I would say that what I stated is correct. Between 2006 and 2009, I would say. Uh, he worked in the Netherlands. I think he is an accountant or something like that. You know, they, by the profession that he's a, he's got a university degree accounting, something like that, I would say. And uh, I don't know why, but uh, something is saying to me that he also has a sister. This lady for whom I have suggested you earlier that was involved in MK Ultra uh, on the street right next to this one here uh, was blonde. This lady here was blonde. Uh, and she also had mother she lived with. Probably even this one here, the green one, I would say. I would say that this was her apartment, yeah. And uh, then... Uh, this guy does have a sister. This guy, Maurizio is bad gains. So very nice. Eh? Um, Yeah, I was trying to, to steal him a girlfriend, too, so what? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. And uh, I'm going to do it like this. I gotta think over if this guy really had a sister. I gotta think over about that stuff. Uh, all right. No, this doesn't come through any brain implants, the stuff, the memories don't come through the brain implants. Uh, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes a lot of brain breaking to find evidence during MKUltra, under MKUltra, it's extremely, extremely time wasting. Extremely. I cannot believe that I'm actually entitled to even see this here. Where the hell am I now? Eh? Oh no. Yeah. 
you did Buddha me out. So okay. Since this is the thing. Okay, so it, it kicked me out to the other side. Totally, totally to the other side. So since I can't go wrong with it. Uh, and let me just see this here. So you can continue and you can do that. Yeah, why the hell not? And so that we can see this here. Uh, yeah, that is the thing. That's why. Because you cannot. <laughs> Yep, they say that you can only turn around and walk away from here. All oh, this street, everybody was involved in this stuff. Jeez. This house is here that you see, involving it. Me personally, the Rin MK Ultra, if I would be already knowing at least where the fuck I am, I have the ability to show on the map, I, I personally would consider that as a great, great success. Well, it turned out inside of the European Union that's worth shit. Nothing really. And uh, I think I got a little bit too far with it. I think I that I distanced myself a little bit too far from the main topic. I am not capable to actually produce I'm not capable to produce anything decent, anything that I could. Uh, use as a proof something that I could something that I could you know this this green thing this hockey now let me see this stuff here okay. this place was always like this it was always green it was always just like this it always looked like a you know, like hey, this guy, we're gonna leave this guy a little bit here. This was a very nice guy, by the way. If you wanted to be nice, there's no fucking way you could be nice. No, I I see children and I see women. Oh, okay. So beginning sometimes probably, but don't spoil me, please. Don't do this to me. Shit, look at that again. This looks like guys. Exactly the people I was hoping I'm not gonna see. All right, so. What I want to do is right now I want to conserve myself. I want to set this stuff aside a little bit. What I want to do is I want to finish this business as fast as possible. Something still is telling me, however, this man does have a sister.
I still need to find this here. I still need to find this here. This car has already so many buyers that if you are out there on the market to buy this car, you don't have to bother yourself because there's no way you're going to get this car. I am going to say to this couple, I'm going to say to you like this, bastards, I'm going to say, really, seriously, because they were doing the stuff like this to me, like I stated to you. They would come to pick me up from various houses and tease me about the home as per where their home is located. So that's not very nice. Okay, you hurt my feelings, and now I'm about to cry, but not really. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to I'm going to consider something else. No, I don't cry just so easy. Don't worry about it. Um, let me go back to this portal here. Like they say, the Rue de Bois and Evil, Evil, Evil. Nice, probably along the Adriatic Sea, somewhere in Croatia, Croatia. Yeah. The Alfredo Madu. The Alfredo. Uh, so if if that's not the thing, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. Now I got to figure out this is toward the park or not. This is toward the park. These people must be very, very close to the park. Very, very close to the park. Like totally, totally close to the park. Two minutes away from the park. Not exactly two minutes, but not much more than two minutes. So Five minutes, all right. I'll make it eight. Uh -huh. uh, I think that I think I will get them eventually. I think I will get them. Um, the numbers that I give uh, were correct. It's got to be here. It's got to be here. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There was another location. And now I know that no matter what they do, It should be on my left hand. 
this occasion. Uh, let me see this. No. And I think this was, I think they got probably the money for renovation, I think is what they did, like I suggested. They, I think they did the big renovation. No, let me let me think over about this stuff. I got to see it. If it was the house here in the street, then it was a big ass renovation that took place. Um, but this was the house. Which one would that be? I already went past. So this is definitely not the house. It was some villa here they that they uh that they they got the money for the renovation. This was all about the special interests. This was all about the money, the special interests. I mean if you know the right person, you could get villa handy uh money uh get, buy yourself a handyman and fix villa that was half for free in a distress and you're worth fortune rent it out to whomever embassy or whatever this is a brussels this is a business this is a city that that is wealth is based upon politicians officials the most rotten city in the europe Yeah, no, this is supposed to be my biggest ally, the Brussels. It sure did came out as an ally, tell you that. With Putin literally laughing at me in the streets of Brussels. Oh, Putin visited Brussels, don't think that. The official visit is one thing, you know, it's true, it's official, but non-official is just what you don't read about anywhere. The villa that was fixed, the villa which they fixed, uh, that they got literally the money through the British Royals for it, financing. I didn't pay attention to that issue. I don't know, but it sure looked like this. It looked like a villa that was completely renovated, fixed, and it looked like new. So, who the fuck knows? Maybe this one. Because it really, really looked pretty. And after this villa, it was other villas that, it was other people that became motivated in this stuff. But the villa that I demonstrated you right there, <laughs> there are many and they all look the same. Eh? Yeah. Probably, I would say, like, who the fuck knows, 1990, something like this, 92, 92, I would give, 93, no, 92. They got the money for renovation. See, the thing is that this is the rotten, the most rotten city in the whole Europe is this place here. This is where the money came exactly the way I described. It was a money, it was a city that was, it was,
people complain, competed with one another in crime so they could get the money. It was a competition. It was a competition for the crime. And everything went under the disguise of a good cause. It was all against in the name of the better world. Yeah, something is telling me that this is most likely even located in this street here somewhere. A lot of lies, a lot of locations, too many people involved in it. And I don't think there was anything else. The people that only appear to you when you are drugged up. That's all the fuck there is to it. So then you know what the fuck is this pedophilia or you know what is the... If you, if you, if, if you were to describe what the pedophilia is or exhibitionism or... Um, I don't know, how the hell would you describe this kind of nature of, you know, this type of behavior of doing stuff like this to somebody. I mean, this is, this is not, I think this is good video. I am going to use this video like to explain people how I, what, what kind of nature, what is the nature of this business, what the, what the Brussels, what the European Union wanted from me. Basically to waste life like this. This is the closest it comes to description of the crime. I don't think I can describe even the crime. You know what I think? I think these fuckers are not even located anywhere. I think that they're located maybe in a completely other part of the city. And it was the whole thing really designed to drive one insane. How is this here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mark, even this house. I remember very well. This house here. I don't know. I had a feeling there was like a lawyer couple. Something like this. <clears throat> you know what this is? This was a school. This was involved since 1980, probably, this location here.
Bruce House. Boulevard Saint Pierre. That's what I was told in this year. This was a school. <laughs> this is no fucking school. Two hundred and fifty. One thing I'm going to say to you, landscape architect Mark Florine. So these are not lawyers, but they are. No, 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 no. This here, this is a house here inside, and it's very exclusive. But the thing about it is here, here, here. Let me see who Mark Florin is. Landscape architect. <laughs> That looks very like a brother of the man who is <coughs> selling the car. And you know something, uh, this guy, this 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 uh, brother from the car seller, this guy was actually a very very nice guy with a dark hair. He was very nice. I mistaken him with somebody else. Both of them were nice, really. And they have a daughter, you know, they have a daughter. And you know what they stated me? That the photo is going to be taken at the daughter place on the other side of the town and stuff like that. So a little bit fucked up, I'm going to say. A little bit difficult to figure out. Brasso Metropolitan Area Architect Passagist de Jardinier. Gardinier. Gardiner. Well, this man here, this guy, who the hell is this guy here? B H A M, Mark Florin. This here. This individual. Let me see this here. The picture, the photo they are using. Let's see this stuff here. So they just delivered the photo of somebody else, I guess, or whatever the hell that is. Which is not, I don't know what. Not a very good stuff. Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy was involved in MK Ultra, and he had an office there since um, hey, who the hell knows?
2008, 2010. The guy, this one here, he must have finished his university degree, must must got his university degree sometimes in 2009, I would say, the guy that I demonstrated earlier, the Mauritius. No, we would just go back here. We cannot investigate the whole world. Um, the father from, uh, what is his name? Uh, Mark Florin. Um, the father from Mark Florin had also a private company. The father from Mark Florin uh, also had a private business and that business was i don't know what the hell that business was gardening maybe or something like that i do not know and uh I'm thinking about whether he moved to the same building where his father was, you know. I'm thinking about, about something else right now. I think that the father had a gardening, the... Uh, landscaping something like that business that he would do with the houses whatever that he he was self-employed i think um The guy that you see right there, however, the owner of the real estate, I don't know, apartments, whatever the case might be, even some kind of building owner or something like that. Um, The man that you see right there, the older man that you see, I think he's got two sons involved in it too. Maybe even two marriages. Not certain about it.
But it would be nice if there would be his name or something like this so that you could, I could verify, see anything, but it's not. There is quite a lot of issues that I have to take care of before I finish these videos because I made certain statements in, in respect to the school and respect to other issues that don't somehow match stuff. Very, very, very difficult stuff for me to say and come to. This house here also served them to suggest me there was a school inside in here. They also insisted there is a school here inside. That a certain portion of the building, which would be rather this portion of the building, that would be like a school, like a sort of grammar school, stuff like that. Now, is that true? Is that something that would have to do with reality? No, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Very, very difficult uh, Belgium that uh, swear oath oh, that allegiance to me that this is it, that they will never leave me behind and so on. With Milan Kuchan, Robert Golob, Pahor, and others laughing in my face, suggesting me one day when you learn about this stuff, when you will do this city, Brussels, you're going to tell us if they sided with you or, or not, or maybe even against. And it would always stop. And then they would give me a clue how much time you lose in the process and stuff like that. So that's Belgium. That's all right. That's Brussels. The European capital. <laughs> this guy I did state that this is probably a realtor, a real estate with, a, with a, I think two sons uh, it could be even that this is maybe his father and that he retired uh, what you see right there, and this is the younger generation, there is a strong possibility for that, that exists. That the two are even related. And this man here would be Let me see something else here. According to MK Ultra, um, he would even own a portion of the building or something like that. Is this true? This is Brussels. What the fuck can I say? I mean. Not very likely. Yeah, just need to see something here. This here, for this year, they insisted me it's a school, that there is a school here, that this year is a school. That's what they insisted me. And this, this place here, this location here was involved since who the fuck knows when? 1980, probably.
So that basically kicks you out to the street next to one. And this is what is this here? This is like a hospital, or what is this here? Centre Parmentier. Parmentier, Centre Parmentier. Centre Parmentier. Oh, I think this is yet the worst city that I have done. And then that brings me to the next question. What else the fuck went on with it? What else were doing with me? Yeah, the earlier I go into time, the more clear the memories are. But the latest as it went, the less I remember, if anything. I mean, everything is really clustered with a lot of lies and stuff like that. It's it's very, very demoralizing. It's like somebody would not even want anything to come on the on the internet about this stuff. I don't think they were very, very happy about it. Okay. And so what I need to see is also this street here. This is also what I'm going to see. Let me see something else here. Uh, the streets... Uh, with the name de la pigeon. Pigeon translated from Slovenian also is a gulop. It became a popular belief in Europe that pigeons shit everything. Uh, and they shit all over the place. I am not of that belief. I like animals very much. Uh, but pigeon Golop, Robert Golop and Golobich, Gregor Golobich definitely did shit all over the place. And then that brings me to the next question whether the two have something to do with this belief that pigeons shit all over the place. I think animals are not guilty anything. Well, I somehow did not manage to find this uh, uh, beautiful home, their home. I'm not capable to point this out. And truly, the question is whether the photos that the two have taken were not taken at uh, 
you know, at, at, the, at the daughter's place. Uh, that would be just, that would just suck, really. That would not be. It would be counterproductive. So what I'm going to do is, now, one more thing I'm going to do. Yeah, I, I totally give up on this stuff. This is crazy. It's a waste of time. Yeah, because I have a few issues I have to clarify before I move on with the stuff. Probably more memory is going to kick in following days, but um, this is basically the way this works. There is no, there is no secret text. There is no, there is no brain chips. There is no telekinesis. <laughs> there is no nobody transferred to me any kind of news about anything. Uh, this is just me, I, myself, and uh, trying to do my best. Not even necessary, I'm going to say, uh, reviving the stuff they demanded from me to, to do for them, but rather to recall what exactly went on and why they were doing this stuff to me, because I'm so angry that it's it's fucking impossible to explain. I am not exactly a customer that would go and try to do you a favor where you're being a criminal and do the stuff like this to people. Not trying to find excuse for you, for you to rationalize crime. Yeah, that does look, that definitely does look, um, totally, totally fucked up. I think that I would have found, uh, if I did search for the car, probably, if you saw it, I probably would find one before I would find that home. They made this thing not close to impossible, but completely bullshit. Waste of time, totally. And not because they would not know, or because whatever the fuck they have done to protect themselves, but because they wanted me to browse and browse and waste time and recall what was done to me here. That means these people still believe that they are superior. They still believe that I am inferior. And they still believe that the crime they have committed are ahead of, places them ahead of the game so much that I won't be capable to do anything against them other than to waste more and more and more time, basically. The laughable European Union story. Well, the thing is that they disgraced themselves in front of the people already during this MPH procedure so much that with the lies that there was no other way to expect that then this something like this would develop. I don't think they had other option than to do what they did. Le pigeon rapide. 
Guella, the rapid pigeon, the pigeon rapid, la, la pigeon, let me see the, the rapid pigeon, oh, the rapid pigeon, the rapid pigeon, uh, where, where, where is it, uh, the pigeon rapid? The pigeon, the pigeon rapid. This already existed since 2000 here. This is not even new. 98 probably, I would say, already was here. Uh, it surprised me that Robert Golob figured out after two years that it was here. He stated to me, like in 2000, that he learned it is the same restaurant with the same name like his last name, they were laughing, having a good time, headed here to the park, having a really good time, really. But um, this is what I don't, this is what I, This was the direction they were coming from whenever they would go to the park. Yeah, because it was everything was in my uh, help, it was all the assistance for me. I have no idea how they calculated this kind of issues like that, but yeah. Uh, impossible to know what, where, how, because of what I stated. They were moving back and forth up and down all the fucking time, so no way that I would have a way to, to say, well, you know, this is not MK Ultra, this is bullshit, really bullshit. Now, I uh, I am almost now in disbelief that uh, they would accommodate them to this degree in Brussels, because what the fuck was the point about all this? I mean, since I'm here already, again in that same street, Okay, so this is also going to be very difficult. See that. Holy shit, a bit difficult, but I think there was another single lady here, uh, also blonde, in this building here, that also somehow liked me. All these residents, everybody was involved in this stuff. <laughs> Crazy, completely insane, completely, completely insane. This is this is beyond insanest, insanest dreams. Not wild dreams, but this is a complete lunacy. This is like if I was gonna go, and I don't know what the fuck I would prove here in this case. I mean, what I could say to you is that by embracing these people would mean for me literally to embrace being hijacked, tortured. Basically, worse than that is that thrown into the psychiatric hospital after 42 years of this. After 40 years of this thrown even inside of the psychiatric hospital. And if I would do this, there is no fucking doubt about it. And that's why they took this kind of turn against me. 
people around the world would say I am definitely fucking crazy. Okay, because if I would go and do the stuff like this, I would be so fucking crazy that for sure nobody would want to know anything about me. Because I would set the new, brand new standard for the total, total crime, hijacking, uh, abductions, forced unemployment, uh, stuff that makes people do the rope around their necks. If you understand what I'm trying to say, I mean, if I go and embrace stuff like this, uh, human trafficking, stuff that you can read only at the United Nations, they mention the stuff. Um, I would set a brand new standard for the lunacy, and I don't think anybody would give a three fuck about me anyways, because this is this shit was scary. The stuff that went on during Archer sure was insane. Totally, totally insane. But if I would go and start saying, oh, yeah, ha, 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 you know, what is that anyways, right? Then, you know, nice people, friends, my friends and stuff. I think the people that will watch this program would go and vomit. I think they already did, many, that watch this stuff. It just goes to show how how uh, the reality about the world, basically, what what today's world is about. Something that Vladimir Putin dreamed about a lot would accomplish, like an ultimate gift to the Stalin, to the Joseph Stalin. He wanted to deliver the victory to the Joseph Stalin, and honestly, he did it. He succeeded. It would be idiot if I would continue with this stuff here. And so I am going to go here now. This is not about... You see, this isn't about... Um, that's the point. This isn't about... My just going out there, it's not, not even about whether about the cheating or whatever it might be. Uh, no, uh, this is about totally other issues. This is about uh, my trying to learn. As much as possible about these issues, because this is how I learn. This is, I don't get, in other words, how the hell can I say I don't get paid by uh, cheating. Cheating would not do shit for me here. Is this, what the hell is this here? This is number one. This is, is this like a number one? Or is it something else, some other number? No, this is definitely cannot be number one. Take a restroom. Let's try to decipher <clears throat> this location. Um, based on my memory, when I look at this, how is this here?
like I'm trying to even figure out how to what exactly I should do to see this. to increase the size of it somehow. This is a 300%, they say. And uh, it's really not any better either way I do it. This picture is not increasing up to 500%, and it's not exactly... Um, like open image in a new tab, maybe. Yeah, let's say if I do go and I and I do something like this. And uh, if this is maybe what I could use, there you go. And then I see right there the number 33, actually. So... That's number 33, right? That's what I think. And I don't really see it. Quite the way I should. It looks to me like 33. The number is like 33. And... Uh, Thirty-three, but it doesn't say the street. And uh, what the hell is that? That's just a box. Okay, nothing. Thirty-three. The vision rapid is 33. Really, is not. No. Okay. Yeah, either way you look, and this cannot be there is no way that any anything like this could be. Yeah. 
Uh, this kind of crime really, really absorbs my my brain because it's uh, those are their shots no up to twenty four. One more time, I'm going to see this. And then we have also, what is this here? And uh, we have <clears throat> oh, Saint Lambert. What the hell is this? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this one here, we're not gonna... Okay, to me, this is idiotic. This is a waste of time, I would say, that truly uh, is not going to compensate, not for the electricity, not for anything other than what I made sense out of it went on. So let this be a reminder for what exactly went on here with Brussels. for no less than 52 years. So the European Union enthusiasts, well, you should know what exactly Europe is. Milan Kuchan prided himself with this stuff. He was extremely, extremely proud about it. He was totally proud about it. He was he was not shy about it. He did not hide feelings and went on to even further threaten with more crime against me. European Union harbored him and uh, so did NATO and so did everybody else for 52 years. Uh, this should be <laughs> rather easy because it's 31, right? So it's not a difficult thing to see.
is some kind of damper here. Oh, we can do that, why not? I can do that stuff, we can slide through here, why the hell not? It was, it was also the stuff they suggested that the photos were old and the trees grew over so you can see the house and all kinds of stuff like this. So I don't know. I have no idea what, what the, the, the people in Brussels, what exactly they wanted to tell with this stuff here. It's a pathetic thing. There's one thing for sure, I'm not going to be to Brussels anymore one way or the other. They did discuss the possibility of transferring Brussels to another location, even considering Poland for that stuff. <laughs> now that would be really wonderful. I would say that if you ever find yourself under the similar circumstances as those of mine, <coughs> your best bet is to commit a suicide. It's basically put the rope around your neck or put the bullet in your head and you will be all set. You're not going to miss anything. You can trust me on that. Much better than going through everything I have gone through. Much, much, much better. You will be much, much better off. You're going to save yourself a oh, uh, I, I, This is unexplainable, actually. It's unexplainable. A different kind of war. Different kind of warfare, too. In a war, you're, you're, you're tested to your strengths, your durability against um, your adversary. Your, you depend on many different factors, on many different... Uh, you're not alone. You have other people, you see. You know it's going to come to an end one way or the other. Definitely either... You're going to win the war against your adversary, or you're going to be killed, whatever the case might be. You're not mistaken about it. In this kind of warfare, like this here, this is when they dared me. Uh, the will to remain alive, if I properly explain, it's a different thing. It's a very, very different thing. It's a totally, totally different thing. Something that is not, that is not uh, in any world, that is not anywhere. It's like a different type of warfare. <clears throat> it's basically more like, how the fuck do you dare to be still alive? That was the attitude in this stuff. The 
streets where Robert Golub spent a lot of time in this particular street. I don't see anything that would fit description. They were using a lot of politicians here. Um, they were using a whole a lot of politicians here. A whole, a whole, a whole a lot of politicians. Um, it's a totally, totally different. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, It told me on the opposite side of this thing here also. So I'm afraid if I continue with this, my hard drive eventually is going to burn. That was not the father of this individual that I demonstrated you, but he was involved in it. He retired, and his son took over, the man that I demonstrated you earlier, the man that you have seen here, this older guy. He already retired. He retired, I don't know. He probably retired in 2015. This man here. And... Um, I think his kids, I think he's got two sons, took over. This here, this is a different story. He also has uh, maybe two brothers. And his father was, I think, according to my memory, his father was something like I stated. I don't know. Uh, it gave me the impression, or maybe I am totally mistaken, because it could be that that uh, is the son of somebody who is extremely wealthy, actually real estate proprietor, which would rather fit the description of this guy here. And they borrowed one for work. When he was younger, he would do the summer job. He would do the stuff with the gardening and stuff like this. And so, um, <clears throat> I don't know, for this guy here, they suggested me that uh, is another guy and that he retired in, like, in 2015, that this was a real estate proprietor, something like that, that he had a property, this guy, that he owned the building. 
something like this real estate the rentals i have no fucking idea architectural stuff whatever he was doing See? honestly because due to the nature of the tool projectant um and i don't even know who this guy is really there is no profile as you have seen on this guy it could be that this is actually his father who the fuck knows i don't know he was very insulted when i could not tell what who and where he was from he would not give me any kind of clues then if this is i mean bullshit the whole thing it's not it's not there was no help in this stuff because the help is when a person asks you and you clarify the issue you answer one yeah, under MK Ultra, they never answered any fucking questions. They were only given a clues, and next to the clues, for every for every truth they revealed, there was hundred lies involved in it too. Electroshocks, hunger, uh, sometimes I was thrown in a cold, literally. A place where they are very very often they would also stay this place here let me see something this is the place this is another place that they very often they would stay there inside of that place inside of that palace this was the palace where Milan Kuchan owned basically this palace it was presented to me at one point in time uh, this place uh, was where the politicians uh, would stay when you go back to the early uh, 90s and late 90s uh, milan kuchan basically made himself like at home here in this place slovenian politicians what the fuck is this? I don't know. Probably a hotel or something like that. they didn't want me to come anywhere near this place there was torture there was heavy torture that went on here this place was a place of torture heavy torture um between like 95 93 between 93 they would have here also serbs that would come uh it was all kinds of chetniks here that I'm not going to say animals. And in the Brussels, they tortured me. Literally in the Brussels. I don't know. This war today in Ukraine. I, I don't understand what even today. I don't... You have to see what this... This is strange stuff that... Uh, Somewhere you like myself, um, will definitely make you wonder. Okay, so there is, look at that. There is a Chemin de Région Bruxelles Capitale, Inventaire du Patrimoine Architectural. Artistic, aesthetic. Was built in what is this year? 1939 or what is this year? I don't even know. Inventaire de patrimoine architectural. No, this is probably just the architectural style. And um,
What the fuck is this here? This was built in 1989, probably, or whatever. So there you go. And uh, that's a very young building, isn't it? I mean, and, and uh, is it already closed down now? I mean, that's kind of early, isn't it? They didn't want me to come here anymore during MK Ultra after like 2005. Um, they didn't want me here anymore. They knew what the fuck they did. Brussels knew about the stuff they did. <laughs> so much violence that went on in a Brussels. This, this is unbelievable. This is fucking unbelievable. Certain locations, look at that, man. They wouldn't even bring me. I remember stuff so this is this is but the funny thing you know what the funny thing is every time whatever they would deliver me to brussels or if they would come to our house from the brussels to have numerous people coming in our house from the brussels <coughs> regular people politicians you name it they were assuring me that the brussels is my city that this is my home that the whole brussels is for me and that I am Brussels, this is Ursula von der Leyen. That this is it. That everybody in Brussels is on my side. That everybody in Brussels sides with my with me. Well, they gave a good uh, advice about which tea to drink to survive. Uh, the best teas. And uh, <clears throat> what I should eat. Um, knowing that I would not have any kind of income then I would have nothing I could support myself in making it really, really impossible to survive. And demanded for me to see myself in competition with them. The, the them? I don't know. The them were the Russians, the Serbs, the Polacks, the Czechs, uh, and Slovenians, and Croats, and... Uh, not the Croats, not, uh, and Serbs, uh, and I don't know. Don't talk about Romanians, don't talk about Hungarians. Uh, just, it's now you and them. This was the advice. So, fantastic, I mean, really. I think I'm going to pass on that hand right there. It looks to me like some kind of handout that I do want to pass on. So this was built in 89. And that's why is I give a very, very good description of it. Very, very good description of it. Even timing-wise. Very, very good description of it. Couldn't do better than that. No, 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 no. Um, this place here, I, I am not going to go and search for this stuff because it, it's, it, uh, clearly this is, this is fucked up. I mean, if I would go and search for this, I, it would not end very well for me. Uh, I need to make few corrections about the video. Um, I made a mistake, certain things, and of course I have to fix this stuff here. This is not, this was not presented to me as a school, this place here. No, 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 this was like, um, uh, like apartments, but the, the school somewhat looked similar to this. I did not find one, I will find that, that's not going to be difficult to do. These are like... Uh, uh, I should tell you, based on MK Ultra, this is like apartment buildings. Uh, but in the rear, I was told, in the second building, which I don't know if I can take this. Uh, in the rear, in the second building, in this building here, that there is also businesses located inside. I, I am not somebody that have ability to even see this here. If I do this, as you are able to see, it fucking kick me out of existence, literally kicks me out, kicks me far away from it all. It looks like this. 
and I don't even know where the fuck I am now. I mean, I remember this place, I do. I do remember this place. I like the idea about this one here. I have identified properly. Um, yeah, I may, I am, might be gonna come back and see the rest of it what it is. Why the hell not? Um, <sighs> where did it kick me out, man? Let's see this. It actually did offer me the location that uh, I was looking forward to, right? I mean, unbelievable. No. Oh, let me see that stuff again. I really, it actually did give me, offer me the location. Wow, man. <clears throat> that just fucking marvelous. Um, it's some kind of location. I don't know what the fuck this is, what location this is at all. Uh, but it looks to me like the location we were at before earlier. So, yeah, uh, no, or oh, yes. Yeah, it kicked me actually from here. Look where the sign is. This is where I clicked. This is what I wanted to see, and it fucked me up to the other universe right there. So, this here? Uh, no, 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 no. I am, am I mistaken right now? Sorry. Um, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, this is this is just kicks you out to the to the totally other location. Yeah. Okay. So this basically kicks you in front of this villa here. In this villa, there there is one uh, family that uh, I don't know, man. To me, when I consider this stuff here, <clears throat> it actually even looked like they have purchased this home fact of the matter, however, is that it also looked they always lived here. So, what is important to note here? Well, the important to note here is that these are some kind of, they were always extremely well-dressed people. I don't know whether they're lawyers or what exactly these people are. I have no clue. Politicians, I have no idea. What I know is that they had a daughter and, um, this one, the marriage, they would do this stuff. <clears throat> they also had more than a daughter. It's more, you have young people that moved in there also. Um, you know, we were talking about like 2004, 2004. I think it's like a son also that that is also some kind of university graduate and everything opened up for them like in 2003. So, you know, just look into the year 2003 and in 2003, this is like a young professional uh, who completed his education and, uh, you know, world opened up for him, basically. <clears throat> there you go. Um, this here, right, is where I was trying to get to see this here. Uh, where the fuck? This here? No? Won't give me a chance? No? Okay, no, no. The same thing, it won't allow me to get anywhere close. Uh, okay, so now 
If I click here, and probably I don't know what happened. Um, what is this here? This this place here? All right, fuck that. Let's go here. Let's see this. If they already insist so much, now it got me again to the wrong place. Hey, I'm not afraid to go see these locations. Hey, it's keeping kicking me out again to. <laughs> Okay, let me see what is it they want to say here to me. All right. No, still not. Holy shit, come on, guys. A little earlier you demonstrated me. All right, let's see this one here. I, where the fuck am I now, eh? This is exactly what I'm doing right now, and the beating took place. Yeah, this is another location that was extremely, extremely involved in MK Ultra. Where the hell is this location? Uh, definitely not where I was. Yeah. This still is going to have to stay because I'm going to do the video that's going to be shorter than this one. And this, however, is going to be like something that whether you can use, that you understand that I don't have. Oh, there you go. I don't know where the fuck I am, but this was a frequent location during MK Ultra. This here in this apartment buildings. And uh, so since I have the address and stuff like this, I would just prefer to do it like this so that I learn first about where exactly I was transferred to. I think they know what the fuck I'm doing. And so now I think they, uh, they help me a little bit. This, this goes to memory, this location goes with my memory. Um, the location that I demonstrated you, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Where the hell is this place here? Uh, look at that. It's like you give me any fucking address, anything at all, really. This here, this place here, this was involved in MK Ultra. This we are walking right through here, through these steps, through these stairways. This is also dangerous. It's dangerous because it was another location that was involved in it. But don't you worry about it. Oh, what the fuck I know is this stairs are here already in 1990. Let me see something else here. I don't know why they dared me about these stairs, but they they dared me about these stairs. They were making that point in respect to these stairs. Um, I don't see anything special about these fucking stairs here. Uh, the stairs. There always were stairs here. There were stairs here. Stairs always were here. Since 1990, the stairs were here. 
uh, they were presenting them to me in 1990 like new, like like <clears throat> there was some like construction that went on or something like that. No, the stairs were there. I remember that the stairs were there. Stairs were always there. Um, how? What the fuck? Did they renovated them? I don't know if they did renovate them or whatever the fuck they might have done it to it. I do not know. There was some construction here that went on uh, in this area here. Such as if there is a pool behind this house, I do not know. I would have to see the map from above. Um, don't even know where the fuck this is. I have to see this first. Um, they were doing some stuff here, I, and I'm gonna look into it. All right. So, <clears throat> we talk about like 2000 or something like that. Relatively late. 2001, 2002. This was a really, really hostile place. After really, I survived a lot of torture. Um, this this turned out to be total hostility, like in 2000. Let uh, go and see. Oh, okay. And now we have somewhat, at least, the opportunity that I can use here. That I, ah, right, well, let's do a little promenade here. See what is through here, through where I was at right now. This is where Golop always would go right through here. He would all. They would always cut through here whatever they would be returning, you know? And where exactly they would be returning, I have already stated. So let's see where the fuck we are at. I told you about location where they were based out of. I demonstrated that that was a camp, that was always a camp. Always was a place. So let's see what this is here. Let's see how much damage I can do, if I can do any at all. Okay, okay. Um, so, but I properly understand this. Wow. Well, holy shit, man exactly to let me see this here yeah exactly to location that i stated to you because you go right through here if you want to get here to this fucking place here you would have to go right through here you see the stairs the stairs goes right here look right behind this right they go right here in between right they go right here these are stairs right so you see, this is this goes straight, straight, straight to this fucking place here, and eventually, what became this location for them? But this location here, did you see? I was told there is something very specific about this location here, and if that is true, then British royals are in a lot of shit. <laughs> If that's true, they are fucked so much that it's unbelievable. I was told that this was a school for the girls. That the girls attended this school up to, I don't know, um, I don't know, 8th grade or something like this. That there is, a, in this portion of the building here, that's what they told me also. If this is true, then this, this people are fucked. 
I don't know if this is true. Um, I was told on the bottom there is a, like a dressing room for the rugby players, or I should say, um, what the hell did I uh, state it earlier? Um, hockey players, yeah, whatever. Um, and that there are like a two classes that they they had like uh, rooms uh, for the also for the uh, for the females for the children uh, like uh, for the girls literally something like this that um, they tutored me during MTH or brainwashed me you know which is kind of rather not possible because you know they would be a sign it would be written. But for that matter, the Belgians alone have found excuse that it's not because it's, you know, the girls and so on, that kind of stuff. So, you know, to do to deal with the people like this, to do the stuff like this, this is just, actually, it's a good experience. It's really a good experience. Let, let me go see that stuff anyways. So this is what this C is here. Yes, okay. Pool. So we got this here, and now I want to see about the pool. What the fuck goes on with the pool? Um, this is very, not difficult for me to do this, you know. I can tell you that in this house here, there is a sun. Yeah, it's not difficult to prove MK Ultra. It's not the chances are or something. There is no chance. Actually, the chances are that I would prove this. No, there's actually no chance that I would not prove this. But this house here, this one right here in the middle that you see, like a square that you see right there, uh, that was the sun. That's the sun. In the, uh, the summertime in the back, they would put some pool or something like this, whatever the fuck they did. Um, for the summertime. Uh, 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 uh. Here, I I, uh, I almost made a terrible mistake. Terrible, terrible mistake. Here, this house. Yeah, because now, let, let me make sure about that. The stairways. Where the hell are the stairways? Ah, oh, no. The stairways are here. Okay. So, this house here. So this is basically really, you got to be really careful with this stuff here. They have sun, from what I recall, uh, a young man was on the picture. I was, I am very, very certain, son. Not son-in-law, I don't think so. Son, I would say. Uh, that would be this here. And uh, in the summertime, they would do pool here. They would do pool. They would have whatever inflatable, whatever pool they uh, they cozy themselves here. They like to cozy themselves here. Now, is there like a chance they also have a pool someplace here or a hat pool here? Who the fuck knows? One thing I'm gonna say to you: they were extremely, extremely not comfortable about it. Once they started to see what the fuck this was. Uh, they knew they were dead wrong about it. They were not comfortable about it. It was not good. And they just didn't know how the fuck. So, what to do? Um, yeah, the summer times were especially nice because the thirst was another super factor they used. Being thirsty, being dehydrated, that was another factor they used. Man, they were fucking using all kinds of factors, including the cold in Spain, in Madrid, in the winter time. I will never forget. They would literally deliver me in the winter time to Madrid and fuck with me when it was really like cold, really cold, and make me walk with shoes in the water and cold, freezing cold snow, Madrid la España. Shit, evil as fuck.
as anything possibly can be evil. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Would you believe that I had owners from this place literally inside of this house, inside of our home here in Novo Mesto? Uh, geez, man. Eh? Angry, angry, angry place. This back in the day were involved in this, but a very nice people. But the more money they got, the more there was a hostility on the picture. Uh, related to the British royals. What the hell is this? I am trying to understand what the hell this thing is. We didn't get to that place yet. 
and I really have to finish off where I came to do the stuff. Let's see, we're not done with this stuff yet. Yeah, the one who financed this year, this location here, this is all through the Royals. <laughs> Would I fucking give any kind of money to see this here, right now, this building here? Aha, uh -huh. so what you're saying is, let's see this stuff, let's see it. Really? Okay. See, because now I already know the whole area here, everything. Almost close, at least, to everything. I could walk now this city with the eyes closed. This is a very old apartment project. A very old apartment project. British Royals are uh, definitely a scumbags. Uh, I will describe you why also at this location. I know they were lying. It's a scumbaggery. It's not. <laughs> How much I was hated in this city. Um, yeah. This place here... It was where British royals would stay very, in, you know, like their 80s. That would be like a classic location of the British royals, this place here. The last project of this property that was completed was this garage here. That's what I do is I always finish the business, I always pull the proof out, you know. That's how I see all the deal. I'm always going to leave you a mark that you're not going to be able to say <laughs> something. Um, the money for this garage, um, For the improvement of this garage, because I remember the manager of this property. The money for this garage, the cash for this garage, for the improvement, the last time, improvement of this garage. This year. I was thinking about that, you know, yeah, British Royals complain that it's because of me, they're no longer welcome anywhere. No. The thing is that I was hijacked, I was trafficked, and they made me feel that because of me, they're not welcome anywhere, when in fact they were paying the money to get me cute.
Yeah, that's a big difference. The last project that was completed was this thing here. Um, last improvement this garage got. It was right after the improvement they did here inside with what I think it was the right side of the building. But you see on the right side, they did something. I don't know what. Whatever they have done inside, because it was some, it felt like that it was a lot of work done inside. It was like 1990, maybe something like this. 91, maybe something like that. And then maybe the money also came for this issue here, which is like 98, maybe. What exactly have improved here? Probably the sliding doors. On a garage, they probably changed and modernized them. I wish I could go through this fucking door and uh, see what inside in there is because, you know. On the right side is like very, very ample. Uh, it's almost like I feel like like, like very very luxurious. This is what the British royals were. They were all over this place. For that matter, I know because of this here. Uh huh. Because you see this here, this tracks here. I kind of feel like I'm in fucking Spain or something like that. It's the whole place was like this always. Oh. Uh, I do like this kind of tennis courts and stuff like that, that kind of stuff. This is why. This is what I told you. This is why. This is all one complex. Everything that you have seen right there, it's all one complex. As you yourself already came to conclusion. But for that matter, I have to go to the other side to get in. You see, that's what I'm trying to say. This here, you see this here? This path here, this, this is where you would go through. This is where you would go through this here, this. This is where we would go. This is where we would walk through. Totally, totally, totally British Royals. Totally, totally British Royals. This here, this here, this thing here. Um, this is just as you have seen below. It either looks like a garage, and upstairs it must be like, it was like a really, really ample room, I think. Like interior, they, they, they make it like, I don't know. To me, it looked like super, super luxurious, something like that. Like, it was kind of a cinema room or something like that, like a place to, um, I don't know kind of luxurious place to chill out, whatever. That's what it looked to me. And this year, these are businesses actually here. Sergius and Medicine Generalist, General uh, uh, Practitioner Medicine, Practitioner Con, con Contrapeed, 
a handicapped transportation service. The CIC, they do have some They do have some people here. They, there is, uh, I mean, people. I mean, the general practitioner, and they won't. Uh, they won't allow anything to uh, to demonstrate inside. Yeah, search. So the general general practitioner search. Gasey. No, well, no, 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 um, no, no, no. The the this location here no this is this location here this general generalist general practitioner this has a fucking 50 fucking years inside of this building this one it was an old man that i think it was the original maybe the father of the serge gosset medicine generalist and this is probably already from his son i think and uh, he got some lady also inside um maybe a nurse no i think this is his from his son already these people have been inside of this building probably i think for 50 years or i don't know might have been other physician that was inside in there that makes me actually wonder how long the fuck is this building there for. I am not even sure anymore that this was built in the 80s. You know, in early 80s. I don't know. It, uh, it was very, very new in the early 80s, this building. Very, very new. It looked like new to me. Early 80s, you know. Okay, how far back in time this goes? 1980. I would say 1980. Okay, there is another issue that I owe you. No, there is more than that. Um, this here, this uh, this location here, I don't think there are any businesses. They claim me that in this building here in the in the rear that there are businesses. No, I don't think there is any businesses here in this build the buildings here. These are, these are her, I, I don't know, these are some apartment buildings, I think. I have no fucking idea what this is. This cannot be schools. They, 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 let me see something else. I am going to see something else here. No. Um. The school that you will see, that I will provide you with. Uh, let me see something else here. Yeah, fuck it. Because, you know, the, the street, it's, it's very, very similar to this here, you know? Very, very similar to this stuff here that you see, where the school is, you know, where I was brought to this school, um, like, in 1980, probably even maybe in 1978 we're gonna get to that place uh, okay this buildings here that i demonstrated you uh, they absolutely go into year 1980. now i i am coordinating with other buildings now with other issues here and so And to me, it looks uh, like apartment buildings. Uh, however, I have to say that the location, you see the color, you see this color like that, the color, and the way this looks like, the, 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 the road, the pavement like this, and, and the street overall also. 
However, there will be a large field behind it for which somebody could, uh, like myself, I could even make assumption that, you know, they, uh, that this was a plain field. And, you know, because back in the day, it could be a plain field based on my memory. You know, I wish I could see the houses behind here so that the fuck I would understand. Uh, you see, now I'm already doing the stuff I shouldn't even be doing, right? I mean, I'm already getting into the stuff that this is a whole fucking MK Ultra now I'm doing. I'll probably end up, I, I will probably end up giving myself a time day to get myself some oxygen in between. And once I get enough oxygen, uh, so that the mind will clear and set everything in a proper sequence, I'm going to hit with official video. But this year I'm going to be using just like, so that you understand how the fuck it works, this kind of stuff. Like I said, if you find yourself in this kind of situation, you're better off dead. So this is what I'm taking you right now. It's going to be like an elementary school, you know. So this will be here. You see this? Is it uh, Jean the 23rd? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Holy shit. Is it on the same street? It is. This is the school. No, it's not. Hold on a moment. Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme and uh, the Pope. Jean-Claude Van Damme, too, the Polish Pope. Come on, let's go. Maybe many of you wonder why the fuck am I like this? Many of you asked during MK Ultra, why don't I don't let go? And even eventually that I'm gonna let go and I don't know what. That's not me right there, even that it bloody looks like, but it's not. Yeah, this fucking dude has even a glasses, eh? not only a haircut like I have. Uh, he carries something in his hands, so goodbye. Even Tanya Fayon was here, I remember that stuff more a little bit. Let me see something else here. Oh, yeah. But let's just uh, forget this stuff here and do this. Pope Pavel, Park Parimeter, uh, Saint Joseph, Saint Joseph College. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to escape from the grammar school in Slovenia and. Uh, what the fuck? They delivered me here to convince me that I'm going to be fucked even more. Can you imagine this shit? They use Brussels to demonstrate me that with the Belgians, basically, fuck it. Uh, no, 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 no.
bing, 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 bing. Okay, it's like anything else here. Yeah, they were trying to convince me also that location that I demonstrated you also was a school, which was not. So I am looking for the area to see like where there is like anything similar to the buildings that I demonstrated you that they could be used also. So switch something in between. Or was it just a brainwash? They had me also this school also, I remember that. Uh, let me see this school. Okay. Old school, old school. Both of those schools are old schools. Let me see what else is here. So probably many of you wonder, why the fuck are you like this? Why don't you... They, they accuse me of being extremely possessive, extremely, uh, they were asking me all over Germany and uh, all over the place, what the fuck I think I am and this and that, you know, like, well, who, what do you think that you are, you know? Um, maybe I am in a way like this because, uh, but it's not like this. It's like this because of MK Ultra, because of what, what was done to me. In life, and during MK Ultra, uh, I just learned to never ever let go until it's done. And I learned many other issues I would not even discuss how to keep it up like this uh, against all odds, against everything. Maybe interesting issue that I used to. Uh, bother myself with at one point in life also was a chess and so as a chess player you somewhat learn to stick to the rules and for extensive periods of time uh, kind of disregard the world even your existence to finish <clears throat> quite enjoyable chess. So, yeah, um, Tanya Fayon stated me that she went over entire Brussels to see the similarity with the school uh, to the location which I have suggested that I was told uh, that there was a possibility that this used to be um, a school and she did not find one. Therefore, therefore this buildings here that I demonstrated you uh, are not uh, schools. These are obviously apartments and the stuff it became evident also that I was brainwashed with to see it as a school uh, located right in front of this uh, court here, Royal no, so this building, it appears this also is not school for the girls. So it was a lot of shit, a lot of lies, a lot of dreck involved in it. And it was done in front of the Belgian people with their permission. Might be even at their request. Um... How the Belgians played this with the same like Americans did, uh, the same like Germans did. Uh, we will tell what it was. You know what I mean? We will tell all what it was. Yes, you will tell all it was. That's uh, when you do your part. 
Yes, when you do your part, this is the way it is. So it's like basically saying, fuck you um, in next life. Yeah, it's like uh, when you're going to be newborn, you're going to be again innocent enough for us to fuck you again. Uh, you know, this is this is what, what I get out of it. You know, what the fuck is this to international trafficking, smuggling, torture, forced unemployment that went to a degree of 52 years lost life and what became a psychiatry at age 40 when I started to talk about these things. It's nothing. It's a fucking joke. Nobody came to me and said, yeah, okay, sir, we would like to learn more about this. Could you tell us more about that stuff? We suspect some kind of activity or something like this, which is actually inappropriate. Because MKUltra is run by the governments. Some are private people. This is MKUltra. In this case, by the governments. And in this case, it seems that the governments were, depending on one another, the more governments involved in it, the, the safer they felt they are. And the more crime was done, the safer that those who initially started the crime felt about it. Unless they will be responsible for it. So, there's nobody else that can stop this shit other than governments who did this stuff. No. Nobody else could have stopped this. Now I am the one who stopped it. Now I am the one who's going to get this government officials persecuted. I'm not asking for no fucking help. Fuck you and your help. That I would require, ask you for help? Motherfuckers, I would have to be born again. Like I stated. That's what for you is innocent. But definitely never good enough for you because what you did is definitely this definitely class, classifies you into into a different category of people totally really something really like they 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 stated it say really like um, Hitler Gesellschaft you know I I don't know what to tell you um so this is this year this is a Mark Florin aha this year is a Mark Florin okay. And uh, you know what we're gonna do? Is it is it this year that I that I clicked earlier? Yeah, and I got kicked into the other building which I already did the MK Ultron. Okay, I did not admit entirely that building yet. I I need to go and fix some other issues with that building. Um, yeah, there is some other stuff that's waiting on me. They did something in that building that, I, that could be used as a proof. They told me, if you can, however, recall that. Uh, I have this good ability to recall the stuff, yes. So, uh, um, here I am thinking about something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think the best thing is going to be just uh, to do it like this and uh, look at this stuff here rather than we're going to be guessing we're just going to do it like this yep definitely This pictures do 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 sound very 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 familiar. Except there is one thing that I gotta come to conclusion to, and this picture, as much as this, as much as this was involved in MK Ultra too, this picture here, this doesn't fit this profile. This is a totally different. This is Avenue Edmond Permit for 150 BTE. Yeah, they knew how to embed the stuff 
through the photos for the certain issues, the certain people. This here, this occasion here, I was actually told for this occasion. Now, hold on a moment. I check out this here. To remember the location due to the circles, and they, they went on to compare the circles. They literally went to compare the circles with the aliens. And from me, they demanded the Renem Kyotra to refer myself as an alien. And went on to further engage in a terror, suggested me that I am in a hemisphere, in a space sphere, actually. At just about at any time that a robe will break away and I would fly to the space. This is and so this is how they have done it. So they what they wanted the bedroom with the bedroom once for me. They also wanted to prove the cases of schizophrenia. It now is the proof because of that Mark Florin issue right there in this room that popped up over there under his name in the address in the uh, under the Google results, I don't, it's not difficult to know what they wanted to accomplish, to see what they wanted to accomplish, yeah. Uh, there was also a switching of, uh, I believe, uh, not necessary, not necessary. And it's very, very impossible for me to say this, especially because I don't have the capacity to uh, to see these houses. I don't have any kind of capacity to see these houses, no. But the thing is that I remember these houses, so I don't have to. These are houses, you know. What you see here, these are houses, actually. This, these are the people that were involved in MKUltra. These are the people that were involved in MKUltra a very, very, very long time. And, um, yep, this is, again, I am thinking about Especially where you see the red circle, this house here. This people here had, had, I think, like two daughters. They had like two daughters here. This here. Uh, I don't know who would come here. Park the car here. They had two daughters, these people here. And so he is based here. So this is their property, practically. Now we understand. And uh, and this here is located at per Permentier 30, 150 Volivet Saint Pierre. Okay. It doesn't make any sense for me to go look for this stuff. Uh, none whatsoever, because um, this is in completely other location again. This is what the psychiatrist Peter Kopf insisted, that I should go into it. Uh, this location here is where the police delivered me all the fucking time. This, this thing here, this park permit here, this here. And they were laughing at it. It was like, yeah, here you have, here, here you have it. It's like, you know, here is your Brussels. Here is the Brussels, basically. Oh, police was there. They did have park permit here, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is like a different kind of traveling, you know? Uh, my neighbor... Bergerslau stated, Miro Berger stated, attorney stated, this is like you walk in the shit, you know, like somebody who put the shit inside of your shoes or, you know, and or boots, and you would talk, and you would walk, you would follow and walk in the shit, basically. You would follow the trail of the shit. Yeah, he was right. He was very, very right. He was right. 
because European Union proved him right. He was correct. He was 100% correct. Like I said, did you ever find yourself in my situation? A bullet in the head, a rope around your neck is always a better option. Always a better option. <laughs> so much better option. At least you're not going to end up losing 52 years of life. You know, if you already insist, you know. And I'm pretty much repeating the words from psychiatrists get the cough right now, too. Not that I would want, this is my honest opinion. I would not want to repeat his words, but I am repeating his words also. Yeah. So, voila, so now I know what that means, Mark Florin. Okay, so I did not finish the business. These are just old houses. These houses are not new. These are old houses. They also needed the money for the repairs, for the maintenance, for the uh, re renovation of these houses. They're not new houses, these houses. These houses are not new. They're beautiful. Uh, in fact, to me, they, these houses, they, they kind of... Uh, He did a lot of renovation inside of his houses. Mark did a lot of renovation inside of his houses. But the man that you have seen most likely is not his, uh, most likely that's not his father. It could be that he is a manager of some property like this that either that he co-owns or owns, I don't know. They're like, is this like a chance like, that this would, could be their property or something like this? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. I don't know. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. Maybe that this is the father. Maybe this is the family. Maybe this is what it is. I don't know. I do not know. I know that where you see the red dot, they had two daughters. Uh, I know that, um, you know, a lot of stuff, you know. This here, this is the aliens, this here, this circles. You see, this is the, they told me. When you do this here, this, this aliens, this here. This is, this is we, this is, this is it. They told me, this is what, what is going to be. This is what the whole area is going to go up here, up, you know. Yeah, you're saved. Yeah, yeah, man. I know I'm so inappropriate. Hey, what the fuck can I do? This is just the way I am. Le Cirque Permentier, retirement community. Oh, now we know what the fuck this is. It's just a retirement community. Not very likely this would be private apartments here. Not very likely. <laughs> um, maybe some kind of home for elderly people. More likely. Oh boy, I feel sorry for these people. No. Your computer is low on memory. To restore enough memory, I probably have to do now this, really. Shit. Bye-bye. Uh, no, I am not going to be making a second movie about this shit. Fuck this. I will do this. No, bye-bye. Yeah, this one here, we can leave this. Why not? Uh, this is our secret location somewhere in... Uh, let's do something else here. And uh, how long is this clusterfuck here anyways? Four hours and a half. Yeah, I used to be a chess player. Chess players are a little crazy. If you want to see me less crazy... Let's see this stuff here. Um, 
Hey, I don't have anything else I would say to that. The last renovation of this place, it, it was at, 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 at their request. It was on a on a on an upper floor of this garage here. As you go garage on an upper floor, they had like a big screen TV up there on your right side, the building that I suggested you earlier. The building you see right there, hopefully, is uh, is um, like can I this side of the building have a big ass screen TV. That kind of stuff, pool, maybe something like this. I think it was in this one here. Um, hell, man. Uh, whatever that apartment was up there. Sometimes, like, you know, I don't know. This was a maintenance guys that, you know, the, who the fuck owner, whatever, management, that they incited British to, to, to give some cash for that kind of stuff. It would be so good. Um, this shit took place sometimes like in 1989, maybe something like this, you know, something like this. 1989. They had a room like this, like until some 1989, like until 19... 92, 93, then the fight and everything, all kinds of cats broke out. And uh, then the last thing that it, I was also already cursed at was this here, probably 98. <sighs> um, oh, wow, look. I, oh, shit. I have a luxury now seeing buildings like this. Oh, wow. Fuck, no, I don't need it. I mean, what am I going to do with it? It's too late. So we're talking about this here. And uh, when it comes to this here, let me see this here. I don't think that was the building. It must have been here in this building somewhere. Thinking about it, or maybe it was. It's a possibility it was on the upper floor. There were residents right there. I remember the ladies and stuff like that. They were sure me it was not, but I think it was, anyways. I think it was either on an upper floor or on a lower floor. They were assuring me that it was not, actually. They were assuring me that there was always a residence, always the ladies, which they were the ladies. I remember the residents, everything. I remember the people that were inside here. I remember these people that were inside in there. They had some uh, older people, too, but not nice residents, people, not, not really... Uh, they insisted me, uh, they have done uh, the improvements as far as this uh, walk through issues like this, this bridge that you see that you can, like, that you can go across to another building and so on. Um, I honestly do not know, and I will not take shot at that stuff unless it's going to open to me clear enough to make such statements. 
I would not go and cast anything into that stuff. Um, they suggested they suggested it was stuff like this done. Because of people like Slovenian Prime Minister Robert Golub and all other garbage that was involved, I, I would not even contemplate on it. The assists, I mean, for the love of fucking myself up to make people like this happy, I wouldn't go and do it. This bridge is uh, started to be tempting to me. Started to be tempting to me. This was a discussion at the year 2000. This bridge is here, but making a, such a statement, I think, would be a big mistake for me. So I am refraining myself from making any kind of statement in respect to this apartment. I don't want to have, uh, I am unwilling to, to, to make any kind of statements. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so now, so this is so much, so much better visibility, okay, okay, this is a completely different story now. Overall, this is a totally different story now for me, also here. And so I think I am experiencing some problems here. Let me see this here, start manager. We can maybe shut off some stuff here. Hey, it's uh, two and six gigabytes Microsoft Edge. Well, what the fuck is that for? I mean, why why would it be 2.6 gigabytes? I mean, this is not... What exactly is that shit about, man? Why would it be 2.6 gigabytes? That means that's what, somebody was trying to crash me, smash me, or what? I don't have any other applications. Uh, that's the interesting stuff that just happened. Or is it like normal? I don't even know what normal and what the normal is not. But why would I have 2.6 gigabytes right there? Have you seen that? In a single window, there was 2.6 gigabytes. I sure enough have the whole uh, city now stored in my head. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Um, so basically, I am looking forward to finish uh, what I started here. And 
this one here. This is what we want to finish now. It's called Venel Blue. Uh, it was very disappointing when it told me, well, you know, there is nothing you can do. Maybe this place you can do. This is probably where you're going to get the most out of it if you're going to go and identify this place. Well, let's see if there is anything I can do about it. Let's see what exactly it is there in it for me. Uh, is this like really anything, something that I can use to to possibly identify? You know, I don't think so. Come on, let's go back so that. Aha, uh -huh. good guala. Now it's not alarming. Cross that baby, come on. Eh? Now this buildings were there always. These are part of the problem, I would say. Nothing so new about these buildings. Um, ah, so is it this thing here that they proposed for to do the business here? Is it this one here is that they wanted to uh, engage? Let's see this here. No. Okay, let's try here. Where is a good place for them? Come on. Well, I'm not capable to do the shit if I don't see one. I mean, a little earlier you demonstrated me this here. This is fucking it. I mean, this is it. Is this it? This is. I think that this is it. This is what. And basically, they say. Take it or leave it. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have here. Let's let's see our cards, what we have, what's in it for me right here. Well, I am going to say to you, shit, nothing really I would feel like I want to throw myself in it. This was supposedly, that's what they claimed me, like the most, uh, the biggest chance that I would identify things, but that other stuff would not be identifiable much at all. I uh, I would skip on this one here. Honestly, fuck this. I here this location here. I don't. I don't feel in particular that this would be of any benefit to me. This place here. I don't. I don't see shit. This is. This is. This are all. Buildings. Um, So many cement buildings, like this old buildings, and you think I'm going to go and fucking say that they built these buildings, I don't know when, uh, when it became evident that they were even washing the buildings, that they hit the, all kinds of stuff like this, the buildings were cleaned up and stuff like this when I would come, that it rather appeared as new and even it was not new. Um, I'm not. I'm not fucking getting myself in this. If, if it would be, maybe if it would be in some other city, but this is Brussels, and Brussels is not what you see. Uh, with a water hose and with some uh, substance that removes allergies and washes away. Uh, the dirt, you could do wonder here. It would uh, immediately look again like a new. Yeah, you can also go and paint that stuff afterwards. 
it will look even more new. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, but today uh, I am not committing myself to to anything. This this place here. What can I tell you about this place here? Uh, let me see something else here. He fucking want me to talk about the, the garage. Uh, okay, I remember the maintenance people here. Uh, this here, this uh, stuff here, maybe they post in front of this stuff here with this issues. Uh, <laughs> like in two thousand and two, two thousand and three, but. Uh, would I make a statement in respect to this? No, I would not make any fucking statement. 2002, 2003, let me think about it. 2002, 2003, they were so fucking cocky. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable, seriously, un un fucking believable. When I would come here, this would be only for the bullying, for harassment. Uh... Maintenance people really violent. If there was some work done here, you know, if there was like something they had done it in this area here, did you see here this? This is all like in 2001. Or maybe even earlier, you know. Um, I don't understand what the fuck these people expected from me at all. This is what I don't understand. I don't understand what these people exactly what they wanted from me. I don't get it. What exactly they uh, they 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 expected of me? What exactly was their uh, to keep me around here, I don't. Today, I don't fucking get what. Uh, what do you want me to talk about? The maintenance people, all right. The maintenance guy was one older guy, uh, who, who had a daughter, also. And she had another helper. Um, a smaller guy, younger guy. Uh, shit. I don't know what I would. Uh, uh, Where exactly? What? What exactly would I uh, point out here? I don't. I don't know. I am thinking about. Uh, did it change anything here over here? Uh, Yeah, he did change. All right, we can do that. All right, you see this here, this metal stuff here that you see this? Um, Shit, man. Uh... 
No, 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 they tried to fuck me. This is like the office here, this place where they would go and they would check in inside all the time. It's like a little, um, or some lady that was in there. Um, I hope they didn't switch that with some other location. I don't know what the fuck was there. Some lady, uh, it's like a little office it was, uh, so it appears to me, it appeared to me, this shit was always here. This fucking place was always there. Nothing, I don't know. Not even this metal thing I was hoping for. Not even this shit, I would say. Not even this one I would touch. I wouldn't even touch that fucking thing. Fact of the matter is that Robert Golop was looking for absolutely anything that he would put in my head. Even for the stuff that was already there that existed all along. I remember that stuff too. And he demanded with the Golobich, with the Gregor Golobich, he demanded for me to uh, see things that always existed, even as things that are new. I don't have anything to say to... Belgian state other than merci beaucoup. I, I don't know what to tell you. Phil, Phil, danke schön. And I'm going to say, I'll be either nie wieder sagen. Same as to the Germans. No. The garage, the garage, modernization of the garage. <sighs> Let me see if I can get something here. Well, with the garage, yes. Probably with the garage, I can fuck them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with the garage. The only thing that changed was the garage. So with the garage, I will fuck you. I will fuck you what you expected, the least that I can get you. Garage, 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 uh, replacement of the garage, change, replacement of the garage, uh, about the same age, the same year, like the other garage. The other garage was like 98, and uh, this one here was about like maybe 2000, something like this. You know, so I, I, will, I will get you at least on one thing. The only fucking thing, garage. The garage. Not even what you see here, this stuff here. And I think that the maintenance guy lived here. I think the maintenance guy lived here. Actually, I think the maintenance guy, maintenance guy was fucking me deliberately so that he could, so that when I guessed during MK Ultra, he was correcting me by ridiculing me. That he found this like a productive way, you know, because that's what he was doing. So probably he did me good, this maintenance guy. Now when I think over about this stuff, because it was like a little crowd that gathered itself here, and they started to fuck me like a little gang. <laughs> that's actually funny. Uh, it's kind of funny to me, and. The ways the people find their ways to, to get the stuff done, you know. And he was up there on, on this, you know, on this balcony here, you know. And he was like, uh, nope, not even this, not even this, you know, not even this. You got everything wrong. You this, you that, you, I don't know what the fuck you are. Um... In that sense. So I think that he gathered these people to do this shit like this with his helpers. Uh, that they wanted to make sure that I would not see new apartments or something like that, which they wanted me to see. They wanted me to see all kinds of shit. New apartments, God knows what the fuck, because there was other locations, they would build apartments, and what they would do is they would switch. It's just not that kind of stuff in my case. For you to fuck me like this, you don't have really what it takes. Because as much as I hated this stuff and I don't want to have nothing to do with it, I did make sure that, you know, that I take certain elements in aspect, you know, 
that I would not end up fucking myself up, basically. That, you know, if if the worst would come to worse, and I would actually have to do some stupid shit like this. The garage door. There was a battle between me and maintenance guy about the garage door. When the garage door was, he drilled me also the garage door. Where was the garage door, if you wanted to know? <laughs> the fucking garage door. You know what the fuck this is? You know this is? This, this office here? Uh, they would come here to ask if they owe any money. If there is some money that they would pay and stuff like this, this 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 office right there, it was like some kind of office. I don't know what kind of office, but there would be people that would go inside of that office that you see the that kind of stuff. Yes, and I think they communicated to the manager, so then they arranged the manager talking about Slovenian criminals, Udba people that would go there and probably pay the bills also, that kind of stuff. Because they did ask about how much is it and so on and this and that. So they were renting. They, 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 the people were literally renting stuff and so on. I don't know. Making money on the side from residents, whatever the case might have been. He wanted to know about the fucking garage door. Holy shit, the fucking garage door is older than... You know, he was nothing happy about me giving him an answer. So. Yeah, this garage or this garage door also goes probably to um, early in the two thousand time, two thousand. No, this fucking garage door door could could actually go even to I don't know ninety six maybe. He argued with me on the garage door because I was sure it was a garage door. Hey, <laughs> I am not even. I don't. I'm not going to even bet on the garage door. Not even this. I'm not fucking touching this garage door. Man, a uh, garage door is uh, replaced pretty damn quickly. Um, no, I think this is the original garage door. Not fucking getting into anything. This garage door, I wouldn't touch one. I wouldn't touch any of this shit. Um... If uh, there was such a stuff, that this stuff was changed, I'm going to make a better statement. If there was such a thing that uh, by any chance, like something like this was actually changed, if there was such a thing, that something like this would be uh, upgraded, this kind of stuff, uh, but then, you know, in that sense, this would, go, this would go, in case that would be the case, this, this would go even in, 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 in the year like 1995, you know? 94, 95, if that was the case. Do you understand me what I'm saying? If that would be the case, then I would say it was 94... You know, 94, 95, if that would be the case, yes? Uh, that actually took the place. I do not know. I know that Tatalic, from the Novo Mesto city where I worked, 
with this type of materials, with, with this type of uh, metal, metal working. Uh, he used to do that stuff and he did go for a visit and might have made a compliment for them and that would go actually to the year 1993 this piece did he did this for them and import that to belgium especially for them so that i would have some kind of proof or something like this if he did and i did this shit, then i have fuck everybody up if that happened because it was negotiated and the Serbs were doing their best to jump in the pants of the so-called Europeans. Yeah? So, I'm going to cast you that. You see that metal working right there? To the 1993. And I'm going to challenge you on that shit. I'm going to go after that stuff. I'm going to go after that piece right there. Now, when it comes to this issue here, and that's a garage door right there. That's a different kind of cookie. That cookie, I would say the most, at most what I would give you, if it was replaced, if it was replaced, It kind of strange, makes me kind of feel strange because they did have the fucking doors like this in Belgium. Uh, Belgium is not uh, uh, this door never ever was replaced. Here is my final. No, I don't think it was replaced. This door. I don't think this door was ever replaced. I don't think that, uh, actually, wait a minute now, I'm thinking about the maintenance guy, the way the way he ran this, the way he operated over there, uh, how did he feel about it, what was it exactly? Um, they did replace the door, because I was not happy with the fucking door. Um, so, the door probably, in my opinion, was replaced, if it if it was replaced, and I think actually that it was replaced long fucking time ago. I would probably go to the year 92 or something like that. If it was replaced. It was something like that I wasn't happy with the door or something like that. And if that was not the case, he might have painted the door over or something like that. And so that stuff would go all the way back to. <clears throat> I was I was unhappy about the door. Yes, I was unhappy about the door, whatever fucking door they had. So that door was replaced eventually. He was talking to the manager about the door. He was talking to the manager about the door, like if there is like anything else to replace. And I was talking to the manager about the door. So what are the chances that they actually did replace the door? Uh, the lady was a manager. You hear me? The lady was a manager. I don't think there were any. She told me I'm crazy. Uh, so no, they did not replace the door. What the hell do I think? And so on and so forth. So they did not replace the door. And that was, I say this because this was sometimes in 2000 in 2000 so do you hear me what the fuck i say to you the property manager was a lady just so the fuck you know the one that the uh, maintenance guy communicated with was a lady the property manager was a lady now when i get down to the business i get business done you will never find a single fucking thing that you're gonna say that well, you know, you're never going to find one single fucking one of them. If I put brain to it, I will get the answer to it. This door was not replaced. It was the last thing they 
they were asking like, is there anything else that you want to replace and so on? And his and a maintenance guy suggested it was a it's a it's a it's the door from the garage door. And that's where the lady told me that I'm fucking crazy in 2000. So now this is the original door here. It was nothing replaced. Everything is the way it is. Unless she lied. Unless she lied. Unless she lied. Unless she lied. I am thinking about like if there was like another door that I see that I could see something that was like a different door or something like that. And the thing is, the answer to that question is no. Simply no. This is the kind of door. This is the way it is. And so the answer to the question is no. This is the original door. That dirty stuff in the middle is what actually kind of mind boggled me, probably. Stuff that you don't see actually in real time. What I would they because of the stuff they were doing to me, you would just start to see stuff that you know. So this is what this is. You know, this lady, this lady here inside of this office. This is like a small, 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 like a small area here inside here. It's a small area. I don't know. The people would go there and they would. Uh, is there like an office? Is there like like a real office or something? Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? If they were selling me a, a schizophrenia, uh, if they were selling me a schizophrenia, that could uh, simply be just a, a entrance into the building or something like that. It's as simple as this. Because all the fuck you have to do is throw the chairs down and bring some table or something. Uh, actually... In this case, it was uh, like a bar type of stuff. Also, of course, it was not bar. She is supposed it was like selling, like I think, like a stamps, uh, like a little tiny little store. You know what I mean? And that would make me even more kind of feel strange because Slovenian Udba people were asking about it to pay to compensate basically for the. Uh, you know, for. Seems to me they were they were like compensating for. There you go. That was connected to MK Ultra. The people come in front of the room and turn around the vehicles uh, outside of the house, in front of the house where there is a field, rather than to go in the village and turn around where the paved asphalted area is. So there's all kinds of stuff like this happening. Yeah. Not that it would matter. So um, that's all there is to it. In respect to MK Ultra, so no, the garage doors are original, and that place right there possibly is even from Slovenia. And likely was replaced in 1993, 1993, ladies and gentlemen, that's 31 years ago, more than 31 years ago. Actually, 95 in that case, rather 95, 94, I'm going to say 94, 30 years ago, let's say 30 years ago, 
And to know the stuff like this during MK Ultra, that's pretty fucking insane that you would be drugged up and that you would point out such details. That's quite interesting. Uh, is there like anything else here that I need to... Uh, this one here I did. In the end, yeah, if I'm not going to find anything, I'm going to already find something. There is too many things to talk about here in the city anyways. Um... That's a new one for me, and I'm going to take this off. Don't save this one here. This one we're going to keep. Let's see what we have going on here. Oh, yes, it's normal. I don't know what this is. What is this? Holy shit, I've not seen one like this yet. What is this? Uh, okay, I don't know. What is this here? Are we the same as it was before? Okay, cool. No, it's not. Uh, this is 3D and uh, this is 2D and I, what is what is this? Because I have not seen one like this yet. As much as I'm trying to make sense out of this one, I cannot. This is already more. Um, again, here he comes. So I will do this one rather than say bye bye. And what is this year? We were here already. This was here since this building was here. All right, I'm going to put it this way because there's a lot of old people there too. Um, at least you managed to keep everything dirty and filthy. Thanks. Uh, in original state. And so, for that matter, I'm going to say thank you to you. Now, I'm not going to come after you and uh, whatever. Um,
And this is actually something else here that I have to say. Um, in that case, yeah, uh, there was uh, people who also rented here in the back the apartments. So this is a rental apartment property. It's a rental apartment property. And uh, it must be this guy, this Mark Florin. I'm thinking about this stuff here. You know, Mark Florin, it's like this about the Mark Florin. I'm going to give you the whole story about this Mark Florin. He moved here. This was not his home, this home. He appeared to me as if he would purchase. It appeared, appears to me as if he would marry a uh, daughter from, I think this is what it was. And probably he married the daughter from one of the owners from this place here. This is what it was. So when it comes to the Marc, Marc Lorraine, not the Mauricio Belgians, but Marc Florin, I would say. Marc Florin, uh, maybe I will look this too. But uh, Marc Florin, no, 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 no. Marc Mauritius, no. Marc Florin, he. Um, he he married to this place. I think he married the the daughter, one of the daughters. I think Guala. It was he married one. I think, yeah. He moved to this location and started to fix the whole building. Also, not only this here. And this is the thing, you know. When I see that, uh, when I saw that picture, you know, this this here is it here. This, this, uh, this is his style. This is his style, more or less. Uh, he started to modernize the building. This is this is his kind of style, like this. Um, he started to modernize, and he did some improvement inside of the inside of this home. Uh, uh, he moved to this location. Married, therefore, to one of the daughters, I would say, sometimes in 2008, you know, like fairly said, or like in 2008, something like this, the two got together. Okay, so that's another issue. It's good that I came back that I clarify. How about this, dude? He is uh, Dutch, Belgian Dutch or Dutch. Oh my God, I see that he was scattered all over the place, but he was making good cash out of it. I remember him when he was going to the college and stuff like this. He is from the big city. Oh. Uh, let me see the Netherlands. Actually, most likely from Amsterdam, but I got to see something. Or maybe Rotterdam, we have to see that. Yeah, most likely from Rotterdam. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not from Rotterdam, maybe not from Amsterdam. Uh, <clears throat> shit. Uh, University, you know, university, come on. Uh, 
Ah, shit. Yeah, but I think... Yeah, I had a problem with this understanding this shit because it was so uh, open as a business school, this here, so... Okay, this is around the uh, ICV area. Okay, chain square. Now we're gonna run this one here. Yeah, I think it was Rotterdam that he was at the university. Yeah, I, I would say so that it was a Rotterdam. So maybe not. Wait, wait a minute. Um, maybe not really. Rotterdam Centrum. Because I remember that, that he made me rush through the center to the square. I need to see if they have any ample squares or something like that, you know. With a, something like this. No, this is a Rotterdam then for. This here, let me see it. Uh, not big enough. Um, Okay. Uh, now let me see this from another perspective. Let's see how the hell this looks like. Yeah. I would get the impression if I do run through some of those that uh, it's very ample. But uh, I am surprised that he didn't fell into the canal or something like that. That's what I was trying to tell them. Yeah, this is quite ample. This is quite like ample, like like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably, probably Rotterdam University. Rotterdam, and now let me see Amsterdam, let me see that one. Right. Let's see this. Yeah, I, I think more like uh, Rotterdam, I would say, not really Amsterdam. No. Uh, let's go a little bit like this. Where the hell is the... Uh, 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 okay, I see it. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you see, Amsterdam is more ample. Uh, it's more like compact. And uh, fuck, that's why I know it was a Rotterdam. They so I always wonder if he's not going to fall in the canal. I'm uh, just kidding. Because the streets were kind of ample and stuff, surprising wide and stuff like that. Uh, quite luxurious, actually. Quite uh, just like the way you have seen that kind of stuff was when he rushed to the university and so on. Now, this, this canal would be too big. If he would fall into this one, he would never have made it out. So I know that this was not the place. This is just too big. Um, so Rotterdam. Rotterdam, uh, wait a minute. Now, he does have something written uh, under his uh, no, uh, but the other guy does have something written. Let me see this. Mark Florin is this one here. Uh, that. Yeah, this. Uh, maybe I get the other guy.
Maybe we get Mauritius. This is right there. Uh, law enforcement, international customs and law enforcement. <clears throat> so what I stated that he finished like in 2009. Yes, now there should be everything written right there. So I can use indefinitely as a reference. I don't want to fuck out of that reference right now. Okay, so this is very important for me. I'm going to take another second to go over this one here. Yeah, yeah, I would say, listen, I would say 2008 that he finished uh, the university. I would say 2008, um, you know, I remember him in, uh, you know, 2000 and, uh, 2006, he would, he would, uh, should I really, yeah, I'm going to think about this over again. Okay, compare one. With a time in it, and I say like 2002, 2000, 2006. Uh, actually, what the fuck, 2002, 2006. But it's still fairly young enough. Uh, and uh, should we say maybe even 2007 that he uh, completely finished everything, or what exactly was it out there for you? 2007, should we agree to? Uh, 19, 2002, uh, 2002, 2000, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go and finish, uh, 2007, I give him that he finished his, uh, uh, university degree, I would say, and this, this guy, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, shocked because, uh, I thought that he was into business, that he was into, uh, you know, business, that, that it was a business of his interest. Uh, that's what I would think. Uh, 2000, no, 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 no. 2006, I'm going to go with the 2006 that he completed his degree. I'm going to go with the 2006. You know why we did 2006? Because it didn't took him long to land a career in the law enforcement, actually, international customs and law enforcement. He took about, he spent about uh, like two years doing something else after he got his uh, university degree. And uh, then he already was in the, uh, whatever, something that pertain, pertain to the government, but probably maybe even undercover or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so, um, um, yeah, I go flat like 2006, finish the university, uh, 2007. And I'm thinking about there's like any other issues here, anything else that would here. Um, I'm I am casting my stuff here, and so let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, North. Eastern University, 2009. Hey, fuck. Uh, not good. 2009, I made a mistake. First, I was correct. But I still think... No, I, I still think that I am correct. Uh, I, I, I actually think that he returned back to the... and continued with the school that, that he did finish for something else. Okay, so let's see something else here. Nah, I, I, I hate to say this, but probably I am wrong. I am probably wrong about it. 
it probably really was like this. Well, uh, I am wrong. I am, I am terribly wrong. I am terribly wrong because in 2006, this is what it fucked me up. Yeah, no, in 2006, what it is, is that, uh, let me see something else. Uh, Postgraduate Diploma Country in Organized Crime and Terrorism 2011, Northeastern University, BSC Criminal Justice 2009. Uh, I, I am more or less, I am correct. You know, I I am not gonna assume this as, as my responsibility or any mistake of any kind because here is why. He finished, uh, you know, he got the high school, and uh, once he got a high school, he he got uh, uh, he even got some kind of maybe something like equivalent to technical or something like a secondary in that sense. Something like this it was, you know? And uh, he seems like he continued Bachelor of Science, it's like four year degree uh, and uh, postgraduate. Diploma, organized crime and terrorism. That was in 2011. No, 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 I am correct. Uh, to know justice, 2009. And then after he already got all that stuff, he continued and got two years later, he got also that kind of degree. I am correct. Okay, I made a mistake for two years. And earlier, I was even correct. No, I am quite okay with this. I'm quite okay with this. But the thing about it is that uh, he does have some kind of Technical background, he does have totally different background, uh, like something like economics, uh, business even, something. I don't know exactly what. Uh, that was quite okay. He was very, very pleased when he finished that secondary, whatever that was. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was it was very good. He was very, very happy. I remember that. Um, and then he continued to into this direction, into, into criminal justice. I was really happy that he went into the criminal justice because he was a very nice guy. So important for me to say, you know. Huh. Law enforcement. Okay. Uh, how the fuck is that? University College London. Oh, London, eh? I am not crazy about the London, that's for sure. But okay, Europol groups. Okay, that's all we're going to learn for now for Mr. Mauritius Belgian. They have Belgians in Netherlands too. So he did not fall into the canal, that's a good thing. Let's see what else. Hey, he was always in a hurry. He always was. I, I would say Rotterdam. Yeah, I would say that he's from the Rotterdam. Rotterdam, I would say. Rotterdam. Uh, this is a t too big, this uh, Amsterdam. Two big canals. Two big canals. And uh, to me, kind of, uh, I don't know. I had this issue. I love water more than anything. I was looking for the canals all the time for the two things for the water and for the women that's for sure uh so that's why i said that he did not fell into the canal yet actually now he did he got a nice lady got him uh, no that's a hug that's probably where he's now at working but yeah this is This is how I made a Belgian state. <laughs> yeah, something like this. Yeah, this is the only thing I was told it's going to be, this thing here. That's all it's going to be, this. The memory on this. This is what the coach claims and uh, Robert Golop and, you know, yeah. All right, 
Okay, if you say so. Yeah. Now I'm gonna say you wish, you wish. Even this baby here, I was correct about. Say this was built in 1989. Look, you know. This was a. Uh, this got a total, total renaissance, crazy fucking renaissance. This place here, in nine, began like a, like totally like. It all became like a glamorous place. This fucking place was... Man, I feel like I will fucking... I don't know what the fuck I would do with this place. They had this... Little fucks. Bus boys and uh, valets and uh, they were so strong and so smart, you know. Violent is what I'm trying to say. They would go put their heads literally into the ass of the politicians. Politicians would get absolutely everything they wanted. Uh, it was so violent, you know. Uh, a renaissance that this place got. The Milan culture was, uh, was crazy about this place. He wanted this place for whatever fucking costs. To himself, literally, and so uh, he wanted to be there. He wanted to be in this society. He wanted to be there. He wanted to associate. I don't know how much people wanted to associate with him, but the renaissance of the bullshit. This place climax. It reached sometimes like in '98. In '98, you would have a Chetniks here, Serbs, Russians, parading with. You know, European Euro politicians going in their ass to cater their needs. I mean, they could get any fucking anything. And, uh, but it all started to operate just as I stated in early 90s. You know, it got, it got a life, it came to life sometimes, like, I don't know. Yeah. Just about in 19, even in 1989, you know, it was the first guests of this place that they smell around and would come here would be British royals. They would come here for a few years till it would be other people that would smell where they come, then they would disappear. Then I don't know how much they pop it up, but this was pretty much with everything. They would come and they would... And it would be immediately other people that would follow the track, you know. Um, so it went, basically. Um, from the beginning, this was, it was nice. Uh, and it was like this with everything. And then it just turned into something completely different. Yeah, it's, it's uh, like in, like 92 and 93, this already was already violent. It started to get violent. In 92, 93, already started to get violent. Uh, even before that, you know, occasionally. But then in 95, you know, this was just the place to come to be tortured. That's basically was it. There's just nothing much to expect, really. And uh, in 98, there was a climax of stuff that went on there. A total schizophrenia from Eastern European politicians. Violence. Right out and open. Um, imagine, not too far from European Union Parliament. What a fucked up story. Really. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. Uh, the place, the place, <laughs> the place they would not want me there anymore. Um, once I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital, this place, um, it was like a climax of the violence. It, it just went on, went on, went on. When I would be brought here, I would not even, already before I would come here, I would meet them outside already. 
waiting on me and threatening and all kinds of stuff. Um, workers from this palace. Uh, eventually, sometimes in 2000 and uh, once they got me into the psychiatric hospital in 2012, these people here no longer would even want to fucking see me. It seemed to me like the job was done. Like in 2013, it was stated to the police officer investigators that would, like a dog on leash, deliver me from one location to the other, continue to don't deliver him anymore. And to me, it was nothing other than violence in the face. If you ever come here and so on and so forth, you have to think to come here and this. You fuck us and I don't know what the effect you did to us and so on. I don't know what happened to them. Like I said, if I could, I'm not going to even say what the fuck I would do with this place. One worker, actually, not too far from there, is a neighbor. Um, being like 2015, these people had a more than not a problem to even operate, whatever the case might have been. Um, what is the situation with this stuff now? I don't know. Is it still working? What is it? Is it still open? I have no idea. Is it for sale? Oh, well, this is a real estate company, it looks like. What is this here? Heritage Blue Sauce. Stakeholder. So this is a little bit different. This is a, this is a intervenant. This is a, this is a shareholder. Basically, 1989. It's it just like in 1989 they would um, uh, denationalize the whole thing. Yeah, it's like suggesting like it's like. Uh, it, it seems to me like what that this was built in 1939 really and this is some sort of Belgian heritage or something like this uh, funny man because the thing is I didn't have that kind of idea about it to me personally it seemed like the place needed uh, work that it needed improvement actually you know um Basically, let me give you a complete background of what is it like inside. Uh, I am mistaken about it. Uh, I am mistaken about it because I did make a mistake about it. I did. It was wrong what I said. On the lower floor in, 19, in early 1990s and all the way to 2000, it appeared like it's completely, completely new. It appeared like it's totally, totally new. To me, it appeared like it was new, in an extremely good state, in extremely good shape. But it was upstairs that it was becoming evident that the place needed uh, work to be done, that uh, it was not, not so new. And the police officer were complaining about that there were like certain areas of this property that did not uh, match the criterion of some kind of villa or something like that. They were not happy about it. They were, more than anything, they were angry with me because I did not complain about anything. Because I took it as it was um, and 
it, it drove them completely insane. Investigators in the Novo Mesta, the thugs here from Novo Mesta. Violent, so violent, man. Um, so, yeah, this is actually my mistake. This place is older. This is older place. But I somehow cannot picture this place on... on uh, I can somehow not really... I am trying to picture this, if this, if this, this would go any further down. Yeah, Andrew was, uh, mentioned to me, I think that if you don't remember this place and this and that and so on. Uh, so that Damn, this place that must have been then earlier on the picture, but I am still... 1989 is not... Uh, actually, 1990, as I stated, this is not even bad. I mean, this is what I took... Uh... <laughs> so that only means that it was privatized then in 1989. So that's how, some way, somehow, it's uh, more visible to me. So it was more visible to me. Shit, man, this place was. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake. That's not good. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I suppose I made a mistake. Yeah, I did make a mistake. I suppose. Um, I did make a mistake. I sure did make a mistake. <laughs> I made a big fucking mistake, you know, because for this, I was even told that uh, I have a room here in this place. So this was a place that it was like a frequent location that they delivered. My room was, I think it was this here, like this. And the British Royals had this here, this And uh, this was actually a private uh, British Royals property, this property. I swear to you, this was their fucking property, this property. This really was their fucking property. This was their private property. They occupied all this here, this stuff here. Oh man, this this is uh, this is a quite a mistake I have made right now. Uh, I think that the palace no longer would require, uh, no longer would uh, really seriously. I made a big fucking mistake. You see this here, this 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 whole thing here. This was uh, basically. Uh, their property right there at the top. The whole thing, I think. They they reserved to themselves, I think, entire floor. Yeah. This here, this is probably from the police here that was inside. This is where probably police was. Pertaining to my case.
this is the kind of stuff we are talking about. Uh, this place here have written all over Queen Elizabeth. And it became privatized because British no longer royals would no longer be here. And it was, uh, I was cursed because of that, that I fucked them, that I took the Queen Elizabeth from them, actually royals from them. This was the Belgian curse. This is what I was hated so much for. Because of me, that she would not come, and so on. Uh, this was the private, private, totally, totally private property. And the way this stuff functioned was, it was from the state. Uh, even based, based on what I was told. It was from the state uh, for, I don't know, what is it says over there, 60 years or whatever? This would be rooms that uh, Andrew, Charles, Anne, uh, Edward, if you would care, they would occupy at the top. Entire top was reserved for the British royals, right at the top. They had everything right at the top. This is the way it was. This is what this was. And this, for this matter, I was I was cursed for this year. For this stuff, I was cursed that I fucked them. You see, I don't know, fuck. I almost forgot about this. I I was guilty that uh, that that uh, I destroyed them, queen. That I did the stuff, and because the royals were seen around me. They no longer could use the palace, uh, mentioned palace. Uh, so, um, this is what this is. So, I, I don't understand French too good. Obviously not. It was uh, closed for the public, I was told. Nobody would come here. It was like a closed palace, when in fact uh, it was British royals that uh, it was their palace, basically. It was their private, it's like they would rent the palace, basically. Something that appears to be the Belgians were extremely proud about. Um, What the fuck is the patrimony? Heritage. Yes, it was from the state between 1939 to 1999. So, since the end of the World War II, uh, all the way to... What the fuck is this here? Is it, is it true? What year? 99. Uh huh. Okay. Until the 99. Whoever can understand this stuff. Whatever. So the British still have this until the 99. They would already start to stage the parties inside political stuff. Yeah, and uh, with uh, so much violence that went on, it was over, baby. Now they had to disappear. So there you go. That's your fucking palace right there. Hey, interesting. This was uh, some kind of Hitler building. 
I was told that this had a Nazi history, this building. It was a secret uh, building of the British Royals. They did not, nobody know anything about this building here. Interesting, no? Finally, it doesn't matter because it's a fine building. It's a really beautiful building. I mean, this is this is a really beautiful building. Who cares? I mean, but the thing is, you don't get a building of such a great quality and such a great place. Uh, just like this, when it comes to the Brussels, people take anything to to move in, whatever is available. The costs are the major detrimental factor. This was a Nazi building, I think, something like this. Something there, they, I was told it's a Nazi building. I don't know if it's true or not that it was a Nazi building or something like that. I don't know that the Germans had inside. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. True or not, whatever. I forgot about this stuff. Inventor du Patrimoine Metropolitan. Uh huh. Interesting because it's a big ass villa, right? And they don't uh, they don't say anything about this stuff. No. So one point two gigabytes. Let's see this here. Oh, oh, this is going to be not so easy. Hey, hey, and they give you for free a lot of other stuff too, which is very nice. But um, Uh, they they told me there was a Gestapo that was based there, but I don't know. But that's what they told me. That's what they told me. I I don't know if this this is true or not. This is the kind of stuff that was used also to screw me up, basically. For these people here in Slovenia, what they did to me during MK Ultra, I... Honestly, for what they did to me, I would have signed even pact with Hitler if I had to. Literally. The evil they have done to me was unprecedented. Unprecedented. The evil they did to me in Slovenia was such that as much as I knew the World War II ended because of the lies, because of the injustice they have done to me, I came to the conclusion that I have to convince myself to survive, to survive, literally to survive, that I have to convince myself that the Nazi Germany uh, and fascist Italia never ever were defeated, and in fact, that the World War II still goes on, sometimes in 
probably what was 93 or 94 right here in Slovenia because of what went on in front of the memorials dedicated to the partisans of which both parts of my family were involved in resistance against the Nazi Germany and the fascist Italy and because of the, such an injustice because of claiming I said something affiliating me with something I had nothing to do with spitting on me beating me up from village to village inability to retaliate to smash their faces in return I started to believe that I have to believe that the World War II did not end because the moment that I would surrender myself to such a lunacy I deemed I would be dead I deemed that I would end up inside of the psychiatric hospital insane just as I stated if I possibly could have I would have even signed pact with a Hitler and this is a type of building this is a type of stuff they were using the statements from me to obtain and then relate this to the people in the background and Serbs and Russians and this is what they were building all kinds of issues around and today you have the uh, war over there in first it was on Balkans now you have in Ukraine and before that it was also in Bosnia and everywhere else this is evil 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 e impossible to explain what kind of evil this is no, I'm telling you the way it is I mean I simply uh, I I uh, when this stuff went on I just uh, I would do anything in this world to get them destroyed for what they did to me And what angered me the most is that the people that should worry about this stuff did not respond to this stuff the way they should. But instead, they started to behave corrupt at the United Nations at, and everywhere else in all countries around the world. Everywhere, whatever country, uh, they, 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 they just uh, became part of this stuff. And so, you know, the more that I felt that you should have fought against this kind of stuff the more I fucking hated you because you didn't because you know you failed you failed the law you failed everything and treaties and everything and I knew that uh, you know that this kind of stuff is just you know I would give anything in the world to learn basically how to destroy you because of this stuff yeah this is what you did this is what you have created out of it that's how I lost 52 years in the process and that's exactly what they targeted. That's exactly what they wanted. That's exactly how they get people killed. That's exactly the type of recipe they use to get people killed. And they continue to finance this kind of stuff throughout the Belgium, throughout the entire Europe, throughout the entire world. They were creating something that did not fucking exist. Something to what I could not relate in real life. In real life, I had Hispanic girls uh, i mean women uh, you had uh, you know all kinds of women you know what i mean but uh, you know something was not right something was just not there i couldn't fucking you know figure out what the fuck to do with this and i never want to see myself as a loser i never want to see myself as a loser it doesn't matter what kind of injustice is done against you, you should never ever recognize it. You should never ever recognize it. If you're going to recognize the motherfuckers, make sure you destroy them. If it's injustice, it doesn't matter in the name of what it is, even more so if the scum that claims are something that definitely are not, to make you feel turn against that cause, uh, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna never ever turn yourself into it for the hell of other people, uh, always do it. The scum like this, when it comes, destroy them. Destroy them, annihilate them, destroy them. Find them and destroy them. That's all there is to it. 
I don't have any kind of uh, second thought about this. I never had one. For this kind of stuff, this is worse than uh, capital punishment for the stuff that was done to me. This is much worse. The penalty for this kind of stuff is much worse than capital punishment. The capital punishment is bad. It must be bad. There are different forms of capital punishment. But these people might get the worst of the worst punishment. There is no mercy for the stuff like this. There is no mercy for the stuff like this. These are the worst people in the world. There have been people that were Nazi collaborators. There have been people that uh, led their people in collaboration with the Nazis. And there have been a scum that traced people who fought against the Nazism to harass them, to intimidate them, to, in to engage them against what officially after the World War II became a government with the idea to kill them, to destroy them. And those are the worst kind of people that ever walked earth. Worse they are than Hitler. Worse they are than Nazis and fascists. And they deserve much worse than capital punishment. These are the people from the Novo Mesto police station. These are the people from Ljubljana. You know, this is why. This is why. There are different categories of the people. But the people I am talking about you have not met this class of people yet, unless you interacted with them during MK Ultra. And the chances were you didn't get any of it, or at least whatever you got was really cloudy because of your bosses, because of your own fucking owners in Brussels and in Washington, D.C. That scum was the one that clouded everything. Because this was not a war against the scum in Slovenia. This was not a war against the scum in Russia. So it's not a war against the scum in Serbia. This was the war against the world, which world waged on me in the name of corruption. You got to understand this. Oh fuck, man! I got so angry right now. Okay, all right. It's enough of this stuff for me. Uh, I almost fucked myself with this stuff. Hey, look at that. No way. Uh, they, they, they told me, you know, there's nowhere is written about this fucking place. They told me there was a Gestapo or something like this. And it was like a really bad place where they would go and they would do uh, interrogated. Yeah, interrogated people and, I don't know, probably shoot them or whatever. Afterwards. Not at this place because this is Vila, right? So I can imagine what the fuck went on here. So that's why that there is no information about it. So the Belgians are angry because I fucked this place up, apparently. Uh, I took them a British queen. Maybe I can... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can put uh, for them 100 barrels of dynamite inside and make a nice uh, firework next time. All right, thanks for watching this video. Maybe put some uh, European autocrats inside and lift the whole thing up with your permission, with the permission of the world, because it's a scum. You're not people, by the way. No, this is not a call for violence. This is just where my 52 years of life went. It's like any other issue here still that is... No, these are obviously not... This obviously was not school. Um, Yeah, they were they were claiming that this was a school that that was a school inside in there that that, that it was uh, um, there was girls that the girls uh, fuck I don't know uh, like uh, I don't know there was a there was a school right and and on the bottom there is a locker where they change themselves clothes clothing before they go play. Uh, 
that is a locker room. There is a locker room on the bottom, and that they also have few classrooms. Uh, but uh, I think for the children up to the fourth grade or something like this, and after the fourth grade until the uh, eighth grade or something like this, it's only girls in that sense. You know what I mean? What the truth is, who fucking knows what? Uh, was it uh, that there might have been a school over there and no longer is? Who the fuck knows? I doubt it. I doubt it because, you know, we have such a great politicians in Brussels and uh, yeah, in Strasbourg where the Court for Human Rights is located, you know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to say to you, hi, Hitler, for the end of this video. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. There is no limits. There is no limits to anything. The only limits in today's world that exist is a hate speech. It's called hate speech. That's all there is to it, because it's the only thing that, in today's world, is the only thing that exists. That's one thing you can be sure. And the hate speech is never done by the people who are perpetrators, are criminals. They never do this. They never do it. What is it with this guy? Uh, he already looks like a father, by the way. How oh, the years are flying. Uh, security, emergency planning, prevention, uh, mayor. Uh, who the fuck is this? Uh, Bruce, mayor, is this so what is this here? Caroline, Deputy Mayor, uh, that's a Deputy Mayor, and uh, this one here, and this one here. Yeah, they made the team, you know, they made the team of the people that were, that were, like, nice through them theater, you know what I mean, and so, uh, the fuck. Who is this here? Mayor, board of mayor and alderman. Oh, okay, alderman. Uh, I like the official Beno. Beno Serex. Beno Serex. Okay, Mr. Mauricius. Okay, let's see the stuff here. Who is this guy? Belgian politician. Uh, this is not a mayor. What the fuck? Let's see this here. Etienne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Social what? Sucher Etienne. What? That's not a good word. Uh, no. Let's see here. I don't speak French. Let's see this here. Oh man, hey, who the fuck is the mayor? Okay, they are. They are. Yeah, this is mayor, this guy. This guy is mayor, this guy. This is a mayor, but he's outside of the Brussels. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he is, uh, he is a mayor. He is some kind of mayor. He is from Etherbeek, from the Belgium, Etherbeek. From the Etherbeek. Etherbeek. Oh, they make some kind of planes there or something. Uh, okay. It's not too far from the Brussels, as you see. It's like a part of the Brussels. And uh, I understand that this guy was like a very strong supporter of mine. And this lizard here was not a supporter of mine. Uh, something like this. But I'm not going to take time. To learn which one was a supporter of mine and which one was not. 
uh, in this video because I could go on and on and on and on and on in any of the number of fucking ends. May your Brussels. After you watch this video, you deserve crazy certification. No, this is a younger guy. This I don't think that he was making this. This one they threw him in a in a chair, like quickly, uh, because you see the thing is that those other politicians uh, just uh, disappeared. They disappeared. I don't know. I'm gonna think about this stuff. I don't. I. I am. When I'm thinking about this guy right now, nothing, because I don't want to to think about. I don't want to go after somebody that had nothing to do with it. And um, whoever was involved in it was involved in bad and good, and good and bad. And the question only was the percentage of good and percentage of bad. And all other stuff that went on in the rear, in the background. And yeah, Brussels was very violent, actually. And so, now uh, let me see this here. Philip is close. Yeah, this guy was nice guy. This was not this was not a problematic guy, this guy, yeah. He was not a problematic guy, this guy. Yeah. He did gain some kilos, you know. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. But you know, he's still he's still uh, in a good shape. But he did uh, let me see that. Uh, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Yes and no. And yes and no. Um, to find him lean, you would have to go into this his student years. But other than that, you know, folks from the big city. The experience, I think, life behind the doors quite a lot, and so it's not. It's not exactly easy, and sometimes the stuff that it feels it's easy, and it's actually not so easy because they catches up with you. Yeah. You know, uh, in particular, what this police investigators were pissed off was a toilet. You know, let me let me demonstrate you. There is a toilet here. Uh, where the fuck is that place? Uh, no, 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 no. And do I still have a time to go to the palace? Yeah, fuck that. All right, I'm done with it. I would suggest to this couple they already know all that stuff. It was all this kind of politicians and all kinds of people involved in it that they explained everybody. And he did a really good job, this guy. He uh, immediately when he purchased this car, new, he threw this uh, like you see it on the floor. You know, I don't know how you say that. Yeah. And so this is original. Everything is original. Everything is original. He was playing with his stuff and he was fixing it. And the uh, lady is quiet and uh, the two had this car. But, you know, this is, this is what the fuck. I mean, what am I supposed to look all over the, uh, the Brussels or what? I mean, 
to find this place or what now. It's not even the address or what. No, even the license plate, I mean. If I was a thug, I mean, that would be an easy job for me to do. But not the address, you see. This is, this is... You see, they wanted me to circle and circle and circle. So guys, don't think about this van. This van was already sold thousands of times. The one who was bargaining for this kind of van, if you really want to know who, this is how the Serbs were purchasing cars. Whoever was involved in MK Ultra, and if they like the car, uh, this is what they were doing. They would just, uh, through this broker here, that was a uh, broker of MK Ultra people that would uh, find me, I, I would find them through this company here, Autoscout24. Uh, they would go and uh, advertise all kinds of unusual vehicles that would remind me of even of the right transport, I should say, at times. Okay, so no, 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 no. Uh, I'm telling you that uh, from what I recall, these people are located here in this place in this in this place here they must be here in this area here like this and if they are not somehow located over there then they are fucking crazy eh? but i'm pretty sure that they are located over there actually let me see something here it's exactly eight minutes so let me see the directions Boom, like this. Nine minutes. They must be here. Well, I cannot find them. Fuck this. I cannot find this. I can't. I don't know where they are because based on the picture they provided and because of so many homes that were involved in it. No, I'm not fucking doing that stuff. I've seen many houses where they had me. Uh, many f where they came to pick me up from, and I'm not fucking doing this no more. Definitely, you were able to see none of the houses fit the description of this here. No, no, no. Not a single house that will fit the description of this stuff here. So, I'm not doing this. I've not seen house like this anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. So, cheating. Cheating is this. This is cheating. This is what you call cheating. Not fair. Yeah. Montgolfier. There is no such thing like a Montgolfier here. Cheat. Complete, complete cheat. There you go. It did. It, the people that were involved in this stuff, that, that observed this stuff, they didn't even take this shit seriously. They figured out that this is a sheer lunacy. I wasn't the only one. People were disappointed. They watched this stuff. And uh, what can you do to the guy like this? This is like a this is a death sentence. This is absolutely a death sentence to do something like this to the person. Uh, probably that saying the person that that. You know, which some people did, the person that is subjected to this type of torture would probably still, uh, what else can you do? I mean, you know, so I will now, this is six hours and a half, but I know there is many of you that watch this program. I will put uh, below, down below this uh, video. Uh, where is the name? Uh, where is the name of this program here? Let me see this here. Okay. 
Jasmine. I got myself a little coffee, you know. So did it give me um woke up? Uh, it's uh, interesting because uh, I had uh, Mauritius is a law enforcement officer. Is this a policist? He told me, including the people like you. <sighs> so there is your reference. He knows me very well. Venel Blue. No, 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 no. This one here, Chemin de Ronde. La -ri la -ra -la -ri -da -di -da -di -da -da. We're gonna do this one here, like this. We're gonna do this one here. Okay, okay. Well, you know. I have to be very, very careful with the uh, with the hate speech. Very, very careful. Very, very careful with the hate speech. You have to be very, very, oh, very, very careful. You see, there is a people. that watch your every step so i am going to come back i'm going to climb back to this villa de ronde and i am going to drop them a bomb before i leave I shall tell you this only once. Hello, hello. Uh, it's like this, basically, the deal. I like this villa, and I was thinking about opening a new form of Gestapo here, so I don't have to blow one away. And uh, You know, the stuff that I stated earlier, it's... Uh, it's not good, because... When you say stuff like this, the people who create a hate speech, when you, you, do you know how hate speech is created? If you want to look for the hate speech creators, then you have to go, if you come here, you come to the right place. It's, uh, the hate speech creators, like I have demonstrated on the blogger, are the people that you see right there. These are the politicians. Uh, the royalties. Uh, F stands for FICO. FICO. Wife of the Robert FICO shooter was actually of light complexion Slovakian. Case to demonstrate what Slovakian police. Oh, yeah. Just entered. Robert Fico into the search engine and you will get everything. Robert Fico. This is how the hate speech is created, like this here. This. This is the hate speech creator right there. He had surgeries already in 1993, very serious surgeries. In 1998, he had a second surgery and another one in 2000 and probably 2002 or 2003. This man that you see right there, with a great possibility of what was even drilling him for what would look like uh, bullets in the future. Um, contract he had made with the British Royals in 2000 in respect to this space, uh, in respect to my case. These are the hate speech creators. Because uh, from the statements, any kind of statements that you will make online, they will commence a witch hunt. 
and a witch hunt is created exactly like this. You make a statement and they start to create all kinds of uh, issues, even with the people that were involved in MKUltra, which is the worst thing that can happen. Because you go straight to the source, and in this case, that's myself. I don't want to be any of that stuff. Um, I don't want to have anything to do with this stuff. I don't need any kind of problems with anybody for anybody, because there is no one that can stop this case from becoming official. I made it through. I did not, unfortunately, I did not kill myself. Unfortunately, I did not took my life. I didn't hang, I didn't shoot myself, unfortunately. And so now when it's over, after all this, I don't feel like doing it. Um, obviously better days are here. And so this kind of worms, they're on a the lookout to steer the shit, to create the problems for this will be used as a warning. I'm not interested in any kind of hate speech. I don't give a fuck about the hate speech. Uh, this here, what I can do for the Belgians, because they bagged me, they, they bagged me, you know, they like this building very much. It's a good looking building. Really, it's a good looking building. The only thing is that Gestapo thing, interrogations, and then, you know, bad stuff that took place. And you see, maybe this is what shot her to the Brussels so much, the loss of the building. There was all kinds of people that were begging me, please do not talk about this building, because they will take the building down. Well, and there was other people that proposed that the building will become mine. And uh, uh, where... Well, I would keep some ladies inside. With what they even suggested, uh, uh, multicultural ladies. It doesn't bother me. I mean, um, a building looks good. It's not bad. And uh, if you really want a, a different kind of Gestapo, why not? We could arrange that. I would definitely want to be, the, <laughs> you know, uh, then the building would definitely go down, that's for sure, and I don't want to do this to people. I don't want to take something to people that they simply uh, like seeing it and are praying that it would not go down. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. Um, that would not be okay because people like it. So uh, what I stated earlier, no, that would definitely not be the case. Um but you know the building is really not bad. It's 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 um, I'm not going to spare you from the truth. I mean, because you were not really in absolutely any way nice to me. You know, you you do have to face the facts, Mr. Bean said. Not Biden, but Mr. Bean. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.